Okay, welcome back. Welcome to the Fellowship Gaming live stream this evening. Thank you for joining us and please look at our social media for additional content, our Patreon, and our merchandise store to support new content. If you're new, please subscribe and give us a like. Now sit back, grab a drink and or a snack and enjoy the stream. One day I'll memorize that. No. <laughs> Okay, this is start of day two of a five-day trip, right? Yes. Okay. This is start of day two. Zed has just come back into the dining cart after trying to get Marion Zafros, who just, was missing for breakfast. Just eating his waffles. And he sits down and starts eating his breakfast. I go, and I'm going to go up to, uh, while I'm eating, I'm going to talk to Wyatt. Wyatt, and say... I need to talk to you in about two minutes. You need to, I need to meet you over at Marion's Marion's uh, cabin. Gosh dang it, this All guy. Right. Zed is the guy that hides his zombie bites. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he absolutely is. Not going to lie, it's fun to play those guys sometimes. Man. Look, let's not bring up Zed's mummy issues, okay? Or I'll have to tell the joke again. Please, don't. I don't tell dad jokes in my house. Andy does. <laughs> what do you think I learned that from? My dad. He got in trouble for telling a joke at work once, though. See, I what enjoy is... my job because I am the only one anywhere near where I work. Well, okay, I don't enjoy my job. I'm and, uh, cutting plastic pipe all day. It is not an enjoyable job. But I am alone. I can think. And no one bugs me. So I just <clears throat> hurry and eat whatever's in front of me and go to Marion's uh, car. Kim's still eating. Okay. I guess I'll be eating for two more minutes. For 90 seconds and then make my way. I'm still <laughs> eating breakfast in bed with Perry. I'm not eating. She's eating. I served her breakfast in bed. Okay. Let's see. That's what my notes said. I know. I'm just saying something like that was... You were like, I'm not eating. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it, it, Perry and my relationship is romance, but it's not romance. It's, it's not father-daughter, but it's more... Mentor mentee. Mentor. Sure. Mm. Or brother sister? No, it's not quite that. <laughs> no, it's, no, because it's I have a romance more... card with Miriam. Miriam is like her mom. Kentucky. Oni chan? It, it is far more like favored uncle, favored niece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to. I, I, I want, like, I would. Stepfather would be the term I would utilize, but it would be bastardized by <laughs> yeah yeah that's what I'm gonna I, I have been dancing anyway. around and away from that because i know what our viewership oh, okay. is like literally i gave you the best analogy <laughs> quit dancing and just go with that analogy stop, it works. stop. <laughs> start step dancing everyone keep doing that man and dozy do mm -hmm. swing your partner around and around i don't like it yes don't let her tell me touch the, the ground my relationship yes we NPC. did square dancing in school do you know why Oh, because I, I grew up in Wyoming. No, no, no. no. There was a legitimate no, I, thing that, oh, I'm trying to remember. It was a senator who thought that uh, there was a whole bunch of immoral dancing going on. So they made an American-wide program of to footless. teach square dancing mm -hmm. in all schools across the nation. I had to learn it in high school. No, middle school. Huh. Okay. It's not just a country folk thing. It was like a nas well, nationwide. It was, it was nationwide. In, it was in Nashville. Buffalo, New York, mm -hmm. to tell you how far the reach was from the south. So, and I was in Minnesota at the time. Yeah. I was in Idaho. Well, I would both of those I places. I was in Wyoming. I know. Yeah. Again, all of those those places far more likely than Buffalo, New York. Mm -hmm. But I still we had to. Uh, it's in just Buffalo, funny New York. that if you're actually from had... Wyoming, you will say Wyoming. Okay. Talk to anyone from Wyoming. Because the G is silent. Yeah, in in Wyoming, the G is silent. Once you get out of Wyoming and learn to talk, 
You're like, oh. <laughs> it's like Hurricane. Hurricane. I feel like I'm going to make an Adino that just does bad puns. That'd be great. Why Why does, the, gotta, ter- why does the pterodactyl like... not make a sound when it goes to the bathroom? Because the P, because is, the P is silent. You need the psychic attack that does like vicious mockery damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nile power. That okay. is a Nile power. Did your dog power. bite? Or, yeah, does your dog bite? No. It, it judges? It, it, oh, it, yeah, I don't know. I don't, can't remember how it goes. No, he hurt like, you in worse ways. Yeah. Edward. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so we're all eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everyone but Wyatt and Zed. Zed are eating. When you approach the cabin you see a conductor that is the blood has just drained from his face he I... is just like staring at you too okay open the door what's going on i like that you just left the dude there <laughs> for like seven minutes you're just like i'll be back don't let anybody in and, and you don't just tell anyone leisurely had a nice breakfast and came back and I... you're like dabbing I... crumbs <laughs> off your mouth I got a guy, don't worry. <laughs> no, I took like two minutes to eat. He he did. Well, I mean, the breakfast wasn't exactly ready when you got there. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, you're, you're right. It's just, that's how I am imagining it. It's just like the weirdest thing. It has been at least ten minutes. Yeah. Mm. I say, okay, open it up. Uh, okay. Just let, let, he, he opens this door. There's I go, nothing is there, inside. Is there any way for her to come back from this? Since As I said, there is blood body. everywhere. Her throat mm. has been ripped out. Is there some way if she, if, if she, I don't know, tomorrow she can come back as a zombie or something? I don't know what it's like here. There's a lot of different things that could happen. But... And Who's been in here? I just opened the door, saw it, and closed it. And then decided I better come get you. Since you're the monster mm-hmm. hunter around here, but made sure you had breakfast first. <laughs> of course, you gotta get you. She's dead no matter what. There is that. Whether we mm-hmm. wait an hour to investigate or investigate right away, she's already dead. And the train Where's is moving. Where's my resurrection spell? <laughs> <laughs> the train, oh, the train is you know, moving. It took more than Actually, ten minutes. You're out of luck. I don't think there is one. There is not. One. There is not. Mm-mm. There is no. not one. Death is I, permanent in this. Yeah. Well, well. Arosh well, is one okay. of the weird places, but mm-hmm. yeah. Arosh in the Nile Empire. Yeah. yeah. Death is funky. Death in the Nile Empire, death is a revolving door. For certain things. No. For, for anyone oh, that for... has possibility. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It, it is a revolving door. That's one of the reasons why I kind of wanted to get you guys out of the Nile. Because mm-hmm. it's impossible to kill you there. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason it's impossible to kill us. Then. No, no, no. It, it's literally impossible. The best I could do is say, hand me your character sheet. And hold on to it until, like, an act is over. Mm-hmm. And then you're back. That's the Nile. Literally, the world laws in the Nile work like that. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> that's that's constant. Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought so. I want to kind of just look around a little bit and just see if there's anything else out of the ordinary besides we'll what's going on here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> check the windows and see if did someone come into like the windows or was it to the doors? Okay, it. Give me an evidence analysis. Here. I will do the same thing. Do you want me to aid you? Excuse me, waiter. Can yeah, I get another I one of these cream filled so, yeah, thingies? Oh, will you aid me? Oh, I'll aid of you. It's a Bavarian Bismarck. Would you like strawberries on that? Yes. It's in here going, oh, look at all the possibilities. Nope, those what are not my possibilities. I need to put those down. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's a success. So that's... You count as... You count two as you. people. Oh, two people. Yeah, if you succeed, it's two. If you fail, it's one. If you mishap, it's none. Well, fa- fail is none. Oh, fail, fail is none? If you miss yeah. I think you... If you don't roll miss. at all, you just count as you. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you don't roll, you count as you. Which still gives a bonus. Well, I have 18 plus the 8. So, 2, 
two people is just a plus one, so 19. That's 19 still total. pretty good. 19. Um, looking through everything, uh, the door was not forced, the window is not broken, you cannot see any entry or egress beyond the door or window, and it was violent and fast. I go, did something turn <laughs> into a, like a meat mist and go underneath the door and then reappear and kill her? It's feasible. Or she could just open the I door to something and it just rushed her. Yeah. Been watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine Nine, and that wasn't. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, you can go ahead and give me a mind, Mike, or a scholar. Scholar. Oh, it almost scholar. just came out, just instinctively. Hmm. <laughs> I was. Nice. Want to try and keep that? No. <laughs> What's your total? Uh, 14. 14, so it uh, put me to a 9 mind. Uh, for a supporter, for me, a 12. That's something. Okay. Um, you do know that there are creatures that can do that, but you can't recollect any of them being this brutal or violent in the way they kill. Oh, They're right. usually vampiric and just drain the blood. They don't tear the person to pieces. We're not in Tharkold, but totally would be a chestburster. <laughs> Do well, not are... give me thoughts of doing that. I still think of doing that, but then I'm like, It's in no. Tharkold. We're not it in Tharkold. It is in Tharkold. <laughs> We're and safe as long I'm as we don't go to Tharkold. <laughs> you would not be safe. Next act would be in Tharkold. <laughs> now that that would... I am avoiding adding those because the more I think about those, the more I'm like, they just overrun everything. Because they don't need tech. Well, I'm saying you, you usually wouldn't have a queen. You just don't, don't put a queen in. And have them go up to the wastes. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> just there's just so much of that I'm going to be like and no. can we make sure it's actually her and not one of her clones no. that I don't know if we could do I'm not sure how not these cloning without things a work genetics lab because mm. <laughs> it has to Brad's be like I make one yeah right <laughs> I mean in theory you could do that oh. yeah I mean you use it for your like it would be couple. your one act yeah mm -hmm. I don't I'm thinking about it. And if you fail, you just make a dog. A happy little genetics Labrador. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> With Marion's face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> just oh. like, and she's suddenly, not using this. <laughs> oh. Suddenly I'm just thinking of the human face dogs in Contra 2. I, I'm thinking of the, I, I was thinking of the face dealer in Avatar. And uh, I was thinking of the woman who gets put on the Chihuahua... D Chihuahua's body oh, and Mars, Mars attacks. attacks. <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking Hunger's oh, Games. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, the the mutts. The yeah. mutts. Oh, the the yeah yeah yeah. What? Obviously, <laughs> we have all seen way too much. Because <laughs> none of us were thinking the same, <laughs> the same thing. thing. I mean, which is good. I haven't seen Mars Attacks. It's very Mac good. <laughs> It is wrong on so many <laughs> levels. It's a, but it's funny. It's a parody. It's a parody. It's meant to be a parody. You're meant to know it's a parody, but yet it stands as a parody <laughs> it so well. It terrified me when I was a child. Yeah, it's terrifying because of the god awful horrific things they do. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm anyway. Gonna, I'm gonna see. anyway. I'm going to see if I can figure out what kind of claw or what kind of thing, if it was a, like a bite or a claw. that. Okay. Um, that would be medicine. I thought evidence and malice. No. Medicine. Dead body. I'll just. Oh, why medicine you, more yeah, medicine, than. Why don't you do that? No, I don't. I don't. Well, I'm going to it. sip on my juice well, and look out the, the window the dramatically. And... Yeah, I'll wait here and you just go grab All right. Of them. I'll well, make sure I close the door behind me. Okay. And then you're I'll... just leaving him in there. Well, he's searching now. Okay. Gonna... Well, he's in there with the conductor, right? No, the conductor's on the outside. Oh. Yeah. He walks out. He's the only one who shuts the door. He's like, 
don't worry, I'll be back. And he's just like... Mm. Well, the, the good news is that Zed's armor class is so low that if he does get attacked, he'll die painlessly. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> You're not wrong. You got, well, a seven toughness? Yes, a seven toughness. <laughs> yeah. Just his head's over on a suitcase when we come back. The skunk farts. You take two wounds. I did what? <laughs> yeah. But I do have a force field belt, so I can take that. That does true. have the That's true. Is what, one left? No, it, it recharges. It oh, recharges nice. at, the end, at the beginning of each scene or each good. act? Every five to ten minutes, it recharges one point. Oh, oh that's good. That's better than I thought it was. That's the, one of the reasons I why. mean, theoretically, if he got hit hard enough, he could out-survive Kim. Yeah, yeah he could probably out-survive Kim. Because he but, can so, it'd only be for one time, hit. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's just, hard to yeah. get a lot of wounds. I mean, how many wounds does it have? Three. Three. It has three, three so wounds. you have six wounds. Three wounds, two socks. That's a stupid mm-hmm. amount of damage, it's good. in it all is. honesty. Yeah. Hence the reason why I got it. Yeah, no, that's a that's a lot of damage it can take. Right. So who are you getting? So I'm heading back to the food cart, because I know oh, that's right. where these two were. Yeah. Well, you all knew I got the food from the cart mm-hmm. to take it to Perry. Mm-hmm. So, so. But honestly, it would make sense not to show me right away. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, the guy who has the romance with it. It's the a medicine mind. Medicine yes. is yes. trained medicine only. Mind. Trained, trained only. only. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't do that. No. Which I think you have the, the medicine, That's right? the thing. It's oh, no. trained. Mm, oh, nope. I was oh, the, I was oh, the was one who was going to take it, but I didn't. Yeah. Right. Because I didn't you just need do the, it. You just do the normal healing. Uh, well, I was well, going to do a paramedic yeah. and only miracles. And then I went down the psychonic side and was like, I can heal. That's good. I don't need to know the cause. Mm-hmm. What about first aid? First aid can be made untrained, but... I have first aid. That's why I was asking. That's... It would be a higher check. Mm-hmm. So, well, yes. at least yeah. I can do the check. That's fair. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. fair. But, yes, I will but make it harder. I was also harder. thinking of if I can... I mean... Put your hand up there, and it's the gap is. You're like, well, yeah. <laughs> that's much. So are you two eating breakfast together? No, we're in the same cart. Same. Mm-hmm. There's only one cart. I'm just. I have my. Sure, cubes. you don't want to keep it. Oops. No, my. I told you I'm shaky today. It's right in the middle of yeah. Probably could, but I don't see the point of trying right now. It's I okay. The so... possibility <clears throat> will just crawl up to the table. And that's that's I'll that's approach it. It's an Orochian possibility. <clears throat> don't put it beyond the... <laughs> Handle those things with caution. <laughs> that's a 19 total. Nice. Okay, so... um, It's not a bite. It's definitely claws. Because it's torn, not cut. There, there. Looks more like that. And as you're looking, you realize that they were pretty good sized claws. So there's probably a werewolf on here. There's only three of them, though. Oh, three claws. So I'm not a werewolf. Unless one somebody has three. Well, three. I know that. <laughs> How many claws do you have? How many claws do I have? I have five. Oh, okay. Then you're off the hook. Yeah, they're all the nails. <laughs> I, I thought you had like a gauntlet with his Wolverine uh, claws. That's what I thought. I kind of do, but. So. His also actually do cut. Yeah, mine. I looked back and I was like, I thought it was like a, like a shink shink, but it's the diamond it's tip. Like, Black Panther. Black yeah, Panther. yeah, it's exactly like Black Panther. You are right on, spot on with that. So, so there's a little bit of an incident. We might want to come follow. Should me. I bring the strawberries? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the train screeches. The horn blares. There, everyone, just give me decks. <laughs> it's outside my ray field of vision, <laughs> so it's the room. <laughs> Is that Dex dirty? Dex. <laughs> Sorry, people. I just screamed in the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I saw uh, Casey's arm go out, and I was like, "What did he do?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why man. was strawberries the last? <laughs> 
Five. <laughs> the strawberry exploded in Kim's mouth. Oh, sorry. It's an six. An eleven. Um, six. An eleven for that Kim. Matter. Xavier got a fourteen. <laughs> Perry that got. That actually matters for you, because you may have an a eight. face full of blood now. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I got. I thought you just rolled two twenties. I was like, oh man. So. Well, no, I I rolled a seventeen and then I rolled. Fred, what eight. is your toughness? Seven. <laughs> But I still, oh, I still have no. my shield on. Lackluster. Is... I know. I understand that. But the force of the train coming to a sudden and violent stop throws you into the wall so hard that you take two wounds and four shock. Oh. oh Jesus. So does my shield take it then? Your shield takes it. Okay. Because that's what it was designed <clears throat> to do. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. That's like snapping Eight. your neck. But there's oh, yeah, now a tent of Zed on the side that's, of the wall. Because I don't think your shield can stop the shock. That's no, it can't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it has no, oh, yeah, one, yeah. And one wound, two shock per use. My oh, question nice. nice. It is a 10. <clears throat> okay, so the violence of the sudden stopping throws you from your feet into a wall. You take a wound and two shock. Damn. Okay. Tony? Uh, you, what do you want? The total? I want your total. Okay, so Perry got an 8, and I got a 14. Okay. On my decks. So what is yours? My toughness? Your toughness. Uh, currently, it is 10. So you take two shock as you are thrown from your seat. Ouch! I, I imagine Perry ran into me. <laughs> okay. What oh, the hell was geez. that? What is her toughness? Uh, 13. Yeah. That's good. Can I get two boots? Oh. Why can I not do math suddenly? Yeah, I don't know. It's like 7 okay. o'clock at night. That's why. <sighs> I could not figure out what 19 minus 13 was. It's 6. Mm -hmm. Got it. She <laughs> takes a wound and two shocks, so hmm. okay. it's more you land on her. That's fair. <laughs> All right, Kim? Is everybody ready for this? Sure. <laughs> I'm not going to get hurt. Somebody is. I got an 11. So you're squishing him. I'm just I'm just a missile. What is your toughness? 20. Yeah, you're fine. No, you squished him. What about who I hit, though, is the question. You're your dwarf. Your inertia was like... Someone had a mishap. It's a mishap. Miss like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like... <laughs> oh. So we know who Kim squished. Oh, no. We, yeah, apparently you just oh, slam right into Alan. And, like, I wake up, and there, I wake up, I get up, and there's just <laughs> whoa, whoa, red liquid everywhere. And it's like, oh, man, my strawberries. Okay, so <laughs> what is your toughness? Twelve. Uh, he's dead. Oh. No. Believe it or not, I didn't roll particularly well for him. Buck of the Nile. So, you take a wound and two shock. Oh, that's right. good. As Kim just kind of tumbles over the table and falls on top of you. And now, for Perry and Zed, I rolled max damage for them. Ooh. But I was doing the, it's just a one bonus die, a six counts as a five, not roll again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> keep rolling. They both got six, so. Keep one, rolling, keep rolling. Oh, yeah, rolling, you want to see what keep rolling would have been? We'll start with Zed here. That would have been four. Your toughness is what? Ten. Seven. Oh, seven. Seven? Yeah. The only reason why I survived so long is because I had that belt. That probably would have knocked your belt out. Oh, man. That's nasty. I'm going to cast Soothe, which removes the shock off of me and Perry. But, but it, uh, oh, he's bleeding. Shit. Oh. Um, I'm not going to do healing, though, because <clears throat> she might take more damage later, and then I can get it all at once. Yeah, that's why uh, I, I will. I will attempt to bandage like mm. her arm or her head or whatever. That's why <laughs> first aid. Oh. From. First aid, you can like I, do. I, I don't know where to... Zed is. You I don't know where friend. the other two are. Oh yeah. I don't is know it where I am anymore. Yeah. I mean, I just attempt. How many fingers am I holding? What does it? Does it heal? What does it do? 
If Three. you succeed, okay. I think of it You're out, gonna go uh, out of good, it okay. removes one wound. All I can think of is that that body well, came I'm up not and slammed bother. me, too. Yeah. We don't have enough time, because obviously we just came to a sudden stop. Like I'm I interested mean, in what's going on. So. Understandable. Quite possible. I don't think that helped preserve our back. crime scene that we were going to go look at, though. What? Oh, there's crime? a crime scene? I will open there's a crime scene. The car that we're in and be like, what's going on? Because I was the only one that wasn't with anybody. Real quick, where were you at last night? <laughs> Who, me? Oh. <laughs> where was I? I mean, I went to bed early after I ate all that food. You guys are gambling and being weird. It was fun. Oh. Well, we probably need to go check on Zed to see how our crime scene looks, because it's probably not looking pretty. Was uh, it looking pretty when I so left? where are you headed? Wyatt? Not Wyatt. Tom. Xavier. Xavier? Xavier. Thank you. I don't know why I completely it's fine. Name. It's my son's name, name not your son's yeah. name. <laughs> um, tell Perry to stay in the car, uh, cabin, whatever it is that we're in, and then I'll probably head to the dining car because that was where I knew everybody was last. Okay. Uh, I don't know who I'll run into or walk by, but that's my direction. Yeah, basically as you're heading to the dining car, you see Wyatt. Are you both of you going? Yeah, I have to pick up my claws first. <sighs> Okay. They're somewhere on the train. Uh, I'm limping hmm. over. Uh, what's so important? What well, crime scene? Crime. Uh, crime yeah, you see. Xavier, you might want to ready yourself. Crime scene. What's going on? We're going this and way. Yes, uh, I'm f familiar with her cabin. Like they're in front of her cabin. Huh? No. Oh, they're not. Okay, no, they're we're, still in the dining. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We're, we're they're doing... coming back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. From the dining car. All right. I'm. I'm just making sure I'm understanding where we're at. I'm probably going to open the door just to see if that conductor's still out in front of the... Oh, if he's... He's on the floor now. <laughs> Roll probably, initiative. He's probably like 20 feet down. Joke's on you. That's the demon. His head's through the window. Throat's cut. No. Um, <laughs> Look for initiative. Well, I mean, I probably should at least roll for him. He takes four wounds. Everybody exactly on the what? train dies. <laughs> it's a ghost ship but thing. We're lucky it didn't oh, derail. Like, hell. It probably th This might. is the month of derailments. Yeah. For the, well, the year so far. I mean, he's nursing a broken arm. Oof. Ooh. Ouch. So, yeah, the, you do see the conductor lying down. The His arm looks... <sighs> compound or just... <laughs> well, I mean... Compound. I'm going to do a first compound. aid check on him and see if I can help him. Yeah, will you set it before I heal it? Because I'd hate to heal it. Mm. I will, I will attempt as long as I get... <laughs> I mean, sure, first aid will work for it. It's not as easy as medicine. Again. Zed emerges covered in blood. Oh, yeah, Zed is God, actually yes. covered in blood. I'm here to help. <laughs> Do you need some help? <laughs> no, I'm fine. All right. What, not... what do I have to brace for? Let me see. That's not his blood. Mm, blood you want to go look in her... Uh, While well, he's dealing with the conductor, I will then... Turn the corner and look into. Our first shade is twelve. Like Tim is. Is what? Tim. Twelve. <laughs> Tim is getting his gloves off. Twelve. Um, it's not sticking out of the skin anymore. <laughs> he screamed a lot. Are you using first aid to heal him? <laughs> to yeah. set the bone. Or just to set the, oh, just to set the bone. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have the first aid kit. Does that mean that's gives favored? you favored? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. But you have to take the lower you one. Have... Oh. You, it's it's not advantage. You take oh. the next one. Period. Oh, take I, the next one. I wouldn't have done it if yeah, I was. Yeah, that, exactly yeah it, it's thing. not favored. It, it's not advantage. It's if you don't like the results, you, you can, can re-roll re -roll. it, but you're keeping the next result, oh. even if it's a mishap. Yeah. Okay. Favored is nice when you roll a mishap. You're like, f me, roll again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I rolled a fifteen, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not sticking out of the skin anymore. I mean, the dining cart is in shambles. People are everywhere. Food strewn across the floor. Some are hurt. Some are kind of okay. So okay. I just probably but said you guys it, didn't really stick around. No. <laughs> well, apparently, we had a 
there's had a real emergency. Act. There's cool. another pressing matter. Oh, so can just, I look at just so you know, the train isn't moving right now. Yeah, like, yeah, my question is, do you want Kim to go to the front of the train and figure out what's going on? I yeah, because I don't well, know I mean, if you have any... Yeah, while they're going here. back, I'm going yeah. front. Take, like, take We're the splitting the party. With you. Take, take who? The conductor. Oh, no, no, no. Like, he gets us at the tra- at the when the car stops, and I'm going to the front, and I'm not <clears> with you right now. Okay. I wasn't there to see the conductor with a broken arm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he yeah. went straight to... Okay. I'm like, okay, I think that's it. Oh. All right. So I look into the room. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. And I'm going to play Mark of Terror as my love is bits and pieces strewn up in front of me. Mark of Terror. Play after witnessing some horrible event or creature. Your character gains a physical mark such as a white streak in his hair, a strangely intense stare, or some other tell. Game one possibility. Yeah, you probably get the thousand yard stare. Love it. Not as it sounds like he wasn't shell shocked already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not yeah but now he absolutely displays it. What I can tell is what and, I tell uh, you, tell you is that she her throat was cut with uh, looked like a cl- a claw with only three fingers. Um, I know it in character. I know it's. It's futile, but he's still going to attempt to soothe and heal and whatever mm-hmm. he can. Of that's course, a, it's going to be useless. It, but it's, yeah. 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 No, it's, that's fine. It's calling up on all, all the gods, old and new, like, bring her back. Don't tell Perry. And I look at the conductor while I'm fixing his arm or whatever. I said, do you guys have body bags in here on the train? Mm. You don't need um, a body bag. Don't. You need a bowl at that point. Why would the train <laughs> stop? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fight. <laughs> Once we get his arm set back okay. in, do we need to head to the front to figure out what's going on? Let's go with Kim since he's already doing that. Okay, heading up. The... So you get you get to the servant's car, mm-hmm. which is near the front because of the smoke, and it's. Not even straight. It's like this. And I mean, you look and the actual engine and coal car is like that. And they're not on the track. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got lucky then. Yeah. But we weren't thrown? Yeah, no, very. Um, You're very lucky. You see splinters of what looks like a tree on the sides. And so... Uh, let, so... Let's say I'm at the knuckle of the first car, and the other car is just this way. Mm-hmm. Is there a way I can kind of safely traverse it, or is it going to be like a... You could safely... It looks stable. Okay. I'm going to... But you, you can see why the train stopped moving. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can be like, well, that's not great. And I'm going to head forward and try to, like, pick up whatever survivors I can. I mean, right now, there's not many people in the servant's car, because... They're busy. Yeah. Stay. They okay. generally sleep when you are. When you're awake, they're back doing their job. That's valid. Um, okay, then I can continue on. If I'm not finding anybody, I'm continuing on. Okay. Do I... Is, it, uh, is the... Because the way that... Because of how you described it to me, here is what I am assuming. That after the, after the servant car, which then has the coal car... And the engine at that point in time, the knuckles are no longer connected. Because if they're like this, and the car is kind of like this a little, yeah, that tells me that they're not connected. They're not connected. So like he's just like full on standing at the door, wind whipping kind of thing, out looking out and over the thing. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Does uh does he see anything untoward besides the derailed train? No. Okay. Well, that's not good. Don't worry, I can fix it. I am tired of trains. This is the second derailed train. Yeah, this is the second derailed train Mm -mm. in about a week. Yeah. Um, And Kim will just be like, (sighs) and start heading back.
Oh no, he no no. Rephrase. I already stated what I was gonna do. He he gets out and he's gonna look around to see if he can help people. What's the landscape around? Are we in like like a valley kind of esque? Are we like on a mountain curve or like coming up to like rolling hills kind of thing? Um, it would be flatlands. Flatlands. Okay. But uh, I mean, it's still just jungle on both sides. Uh, how close is the jungle? Too close. Like yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Where the train tracks. Yeah, the yeah. Gravel for the tracks ends. That's jungle. Kim is not happy about this. Uh, and we'll kind of hop down and try to see if he can find the conductors. Engineers? Yes. <laughs> yes. The train it. people. Yeah. The train people. That's what Kim They knows. conduct the train. They're the engineers, and I should know that because my grandfather was an engineer. God. I mean, as you hop down and start going up, you do see two men kind of, they're out, they're looking to see what it is. They're kind of shaking their heads. They're dressed in the, what you would expect. They're kind of dirty from coal and... Are you the drivers? Yeah, we're the engineers. So, uh, what happened? Well, we came around a bend back there just a little bit, and there was a lot. Uh, there was a tree over the tracks. There was no way we could stop. We knew we were going to hit it. Uh, kind of knew it would probably derail us, but nothing we could do by the time we saw it. Well, that's not good. Because there ain't no way I'm fixing this. Nope. They'll be expecting us in about four hours. And unfortunately, it'll take two hours after that for them to finally realize that something is wrong to send someone back to look for us. So how long are we stuck here for a bit? At least a day. Get in the train, tell everybody to board up the windows, and board up the doors. And he just turns around and gets back on the train. Okay. And starts taking his advice. He's like, that's a chair, you don't need that. And he's just picking things up to like just start barricading things. <laughs> <laughs> he's done with monkeys. <laughs> he's done with this whole freaking area. <laughs> Yeah. And we don't know if whatever killed Marion is still in the area. Correct. Or on yeah. the train. Yeah. Or... I'm pretty sure it's still on the train. It could have left. The train is running all night, so I get, it could have. Well, we don't know. We how don't it got know it. for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Kim starts. Uh, do I have anything that I can <clears throat> setting up barriers? Okay. The... So as it gets settled, I'll explain to you the two of you what we just discovered so far that it doesn't look like the doors were or the windows were forced. So either someone was able to get in by themselves or she opened the door thinking it was someone she knew or hmm. someone that she was comfortable opening the door to and Something fast and brutal. And he believe, I mean, believes it was some kind of cl three fingered claw. Well, who knew she was on the train? I mean, we didn't even know we were going to be on the train with her right. until, what, yesterday? She may not have been targeted in particular. She could have just been the victim that the killer wanted to um, bat. Oh. Were you able to examine the cabin for finger foot, fingerprints, footprints, anything of that nature? That might... I was just going to do that when the train stopped all of a sudden. That's fair. Well, Kim went forward as far as we know. 
minutes, so we have a little bit of time. And the way the room is probably is now, it's probably destroyed a lot of the evidence, but I will take a look and see if I can find any fingerprints or anything like that. Or just go around trying to see if I can figure out if she fought at all or anything, but I don't have medicine. Do you have medicine? I do not. See, that's the problem we've been having right now. We need to see if there's a doctor in the house. There is a doctor in the house. Mm -hmm. He died. Did he? No, we don't know. Oh, don't say shit like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dr. Edmund Church. We need to see um, if he could come and you, take... You were working on his watch. Uh, I was working on... She, he, uh, was, he was working on a watch to give to Marion to make as her... a death threat. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Just says Dr. Edmund Church, Traveler Medical, that is working on the broken watch. That's all I got for notes. Oh, yeah. Bro the broken watch that he gave me. Yeah. Uh, oh, Oh, you were working with the doctor on it. No, I was I was working on it to fake out Marion th to make her think that if she tries to run away, it'll oh. make her explode or implode or something like that. Well, I connected two things that didn't belong oh together. Then sorry. That's okay. So let's go get the doc see if the doctor's okay and see if he can take a look at the body then for us. I mean, doctor's it's missing it's a leg now. That's a bad deal. doctor's head through the wall. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Let's go see. Uh, yeah, how many I'm still hurting a little bit. We ought to go to check out that married couple. I hate to see what happened. No. I better go check on the Stella as well. All right, and the widow. The widow. We need to check on the widow. The widow is the Stella. A Stella. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no, there's a different widow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, one? yeah. The Callistra is the. Cal uh, yeah. And see if she has three fingers. <laughs> I think I'm looking she had for five. a man with six fingers on his right hand. I do not suppose you have six fingers on your right hand. Do you always begin conversations this way? Sorry, but my father was killed by a six-finger man. That's such a good line, though. Like, when he looks at him, he goes, I know someone who's looking for you. And he immediately recognizes what's going on. And just knocks him out because of it. You have six fingers on your right hand. Someone was looking for you. What's funnier is that he actually knocked him out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him hard enough that it knocked him unconscious. He was it. not acting when his head low like that. That was real. <laughs> Reminds me of a story about Jason David Frank who played the Green and White Ranger. Who recently passed away this last year? Oh yeah. Um, he played seven different races. He yeah. But yeah. But in the first film, yeah, yeah. Ivan Ooze, he does a, a bicycle kick on one of the Tengu warriors, and the Tengu warrior goes, "Bro, actually kick me. I, t I can take the hit." And he goes, "No, you can't." And he's like, "No, no, no, man, I can take the hit." And he comes in on a line, and Jason just, boom, kicks him, knocks him out, and you can just see his limp body just keep on going. <laughs> Down the line. He's like, yeah, no, he it's couldn't take that hit. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. The dockyard. I can't remember when he's using Savon and he's coming down. Oh, the yeah, it's a good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so let's look for the doctor. Yeah, don't ever yeah. don't ever be like, hit me harder. Like, mm, that's not how that's going to work. Uh, Sylvester Stallone got a broken rib from Dolph Lundgren. And uh, in <laughs> Creed... Michael B. Jordan wanted to get legitimately knocked out. So I was like, eh, I get it. I mean, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no. So. And I'm going to just start trying to investigate the room, I guess, and look for... Yeah, I'll go look for the doctor and heal him if I have okay. to, but I'll bring him so that he can scoot me. Did you already do no. last rites? Not yet. I have not. I should. Well, I probably. Yes, I assumed I did. you did, I did as part. I of... did when um, I tried to heal her and it didn't work, and then mm -hmm. I would have done that. And, yeah. You know, I just. Yeah. I. I would have said my prayers to the gods and the 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 seer that you know she would enter one of the halls and probably wouldn't be Valhalla, maybe Freya's hall because she gets the pick of the choice. But I would as a as a Viking, although that's a job and not a thing but as a uh, asa true it would be um i would hope that she had went down fighting knowing marion the way we know her like i would hope 
I just think it happened so quick. She didn't even know she was dead. I went to bed dead. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up with the scar. But I think, and I can think, I can think of like, oh, since she appears later down, and she has a big scar in her neck, and I'm like, I knew she wasn't. Dead. No way to know now. <laughs> the train jacked up her body. Catching what she can in the Super Bowl. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Who won Anyways, the Super Bowl? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go look for Doctor Ed then. Chiefs. Chiefs. Oh, by like three. And uh, if I find him and he's hurt, I will attempt to heal him. It's like thirty I mean, to thirty-five. It was close. They're so. more or less turning the dining card into an impromptu infirmary. Okay. So they're bringing blankets and bedding uh, for the people that seem to be a little too injured to move. Those that can are helping. The doctor seems more or less fine. Okay. A little shaken, but not stirred. <laughs> Beaten. <laughs> uh, I will approach. We him. are on one tonight. <laughs> Discreetly tell him we we. Uh, th- this is important. I don't disagree, but we have something that you need to investigate. Post haste. Um, um, persuasion I... or charisma. <laughs> I know, I know, but... There's going to be a no. The short answer is... Uh, do no harm nor allow harm to happen. Minus one. Okay. Then the possibility... Okay, 29, 21... 22 is what's small black? 8 plus 6 mm-hmm. is but medium blast is 3 so maybe waste 1 or 2 just 1 ok so 14 so I mean he opens his mouth to say something and then looks and sees the look on your face. And that's kind of when he realizes, okay. Whatever it is, they don't want to, he doesn't want to talk about it. And it's important enough to also, interrupt this. I'm pallid and I have That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He sees your face as he opens his mouth to say something about, I can't leave here right now. This is, and he just sees you and he's like oh i understand take me to take me where you need to and then i i will once we get a further enough way where we can whisper to one another i'll say he's like don't just show just show me um how many carts is there between the diner's cart and the servant's cart one just one okay so kim comes up upon the scene of them triaging no, that's behind. That's away from the... Oh, I thought you said they're tri- doing the triage in the diner's car. In the diner's car. The diner's car is past the passenger cars. More towards the back. Okay, then I have my directions wrong. It's entirely possible. Yeah. I also have your the directions wrong. I thought you went... Yeah, I thought I went like straight north. North. Up to the cabin from the diner's cart. Well, they went south. No, to no, the passengers. No. Okay, so I would have passed. You, you actually would have yeah. so gone would have with them. Okay, and then just kept going. Okay, I probably should have made that clear. That's totally fine. That's an assumption on my part. It's, we didn't draw the train like we no, did last we didn't. Time. Yeah, no, that really didn't help. Yeah, <laughs> it would have. Uh, so uh, Kim helps the engineers get in, and then barricades. Not the servants' quarters, the one behind it, and then says, "Okay, get everybody back. Just try to con- conglomerate in the single area. It's easier to protect." They're like, "Okay, we're here for a day. That means we're here for a night too." Yeah, they're like, "This is true." Hmm. I'm glad it's not winter. Who says it isn't? Yeah. Casey says it isn't. I'm not saying it isn't. 
I'm glad it's not. I'm saying you're cold. so close to the equator, it doesn't matter. Right. Could very well be winter. To them, it means our summer. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what month that is. That's so okay. It's okay. It actually would be winter. If the time frame I set is right, yeah, it would be a end of winter right now. Oh, it's chilly 80 degrees. Yes, <laughs> it's a chilly 80 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> they actually they actually are wearing long sleeve shirts. I've had those days. I don't like them. <laughs> we were 120 degree weather for a full week. And the next week it was 90 degrees and we were cold. And it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I screamed at the thermometer. <laughs> okay. Okay, so barricading stuff. Uh, the doctor arrives. He actually looks and sees it and is like, oh. And, and so... It's like, what am I going to do? Like, um, when did this happen? Sometime last night, I do believe. I'm hoping that you can narrow it down. <sighs> Not likely. I don't have the tools for that. You just need a thermometer to do her liver, I do believe. Her liver temp. I've watched too many CSI shows. God, this is gross. And you probably wouldn't know that. Even the being Nile. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> Remember, play your social aspect as well. Mm. Social and tech. Those are important. Where's my tech? Should be at the 20. top with the rest of it. Tech is 20. I might know it. Mm, you'd need medicine to know what it, that tech. I get your skills in there, Fred. I guess I need to take medicine next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gray's, Fred's going to binge Gray's Anatomy and be the most Turn excellent medical person there is. <laughs> you guys need someone with medicine. <laughs> Not going to be me. <laughs> Why are you about the doctor in? Yeah. So, yeah, he's going to do his looking over he's like he's looking at it and he's like if I had to guess I'd say it happened reasonably early this morning rigor just hasn't set in yet or I got knocked out with the train stopped mm, rigor would not rigor mortis does around, not but... stop until it's <laughs> over I'm playing my tech. <laughs> no, you know you would know that. Rigor mortis is well known, well documented. That's prehistorical knowledge, which is fascinating. This is, a fa this is something that we recorded. Well, external came well, well, well before internal yeah. medicine. So, yeah, people were like, "It's stiff. You can't move it." And then a few hours later, it's like. Now it's just limp. I mean, they probably didn't know what an hour was, but some time passed. The body is now limp again. Grog's a little too tough now, but later, and wait for a bit, and it mm. tastes just okay. <laughs> you make one cannibalism joke. Sheesh. Sorry, I... Well, as Casey was doing his description, all I was thinking was, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> don't, don't go with those jokes. <laughs> those are such low-hanging fruit. Yeah, that is. That's Still funny. Just like Fred's wife. <laughs> Which Ooh. one? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Ooh. I went there. Which I'm one? He, he gets a possibility for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Then again, he was his choice. Both times. 
I don't know either of your X5s. You're not missing anything. I, I understand that. One's slightly insane, and the other one's even more insane. There's a common denominator there. Yeah, they're insane. <laughs> sure. <laughs> one became insane, and the other one just was a bad decision, no matter what I how I phrase it. Anyway. And now, Fred has a mark of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> As he thinks about his ex wife both eyes Can't turn red Fred. <laughs> corruption for him <laughs> both eyes turn red and all oh, my hair falls out what's this <laughs> real life bleeds through <laughs> um, so while they're all doing this I assume it's not going to take too long to to kind of make my way back to their group I mean yeah the doctor kind of gets at his watch and he starts timing it. Mm. And he'll try and move the arm every couple minutes. And it's probably about 40 minutes of when rigor mortis sets in. Mm. Since she was Nile, do we need to make her into a mummy? 40 minutes of mm. him doing that? Yeah. Okay, then Kim is going to go on to the dining car and start doing triage. Oh, everyone gets strange. He's going to just start money. crafting mm. magic runes and just shattering them at people. <laughs> it heals a bonus die worth of shock. Okay. It actually is effective. Yeah. All I can think of is, well, she was wealthy. Just healing people. Mm-hmm. But I really don't want to do it, so never mind. I mean, as I what understand, she's transformed like you, know? you, so do the you magic, want to be The mummified? magic, I assume it's like 13. Okay. Was she? Because they're not, thought she they're low-level enchantments, not I uh, wasn't upper, sure. Upper. Was she transformed like me, or was she, oh, did she come over? Uh, she was transformed hmm. like you. Okay. Well, maybe and, not. But it doesn't matter, she's still Nile. Well, I was just trying to decide if she would rather be mummified, or if she would rather be, like, Burned or buried or something like that. Whatever Amatism talks yeah. about. Yeah. But I don't... Probably burned, you think? It's mm. a nice pyre. Mm-hmm. Pyrokinesis! Boom! <laughs> Outside! <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't say when I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying I can In a wood train. <laughs> just, this will be our per- this, this will be our burial ground. But boom, just right at your feet. <laughs> I did hear we had a log in the way. I mean, it's not an active flame. It just does fire damage yeah. to the object of my choice. Yeah. So, like uh, spontaneous combustion where she burns, but nothing around her does. Yeah. I mean, if you hit something like flammable with that oh sure i sure. would definitely give it the ch- a chance to ignite and burn yeah that's fair i will collect a well we asked about a body bag mm-hmm. i'm gonna wait until yeah i'm about to say i might i would collect a small sample so when we get to someplace else we can dub- double check and make sure it's actually her yeah yep go ahead with that uh, because well, i'm mean, pretty sure they said there's no body bags on the train yeah there's Maybe no body you did not say that no yeah. okay no they we, don't have yeah. body bags i, on I the made train. a soup bowl reference and you didn't say anything yeah. after that yeah. well i mean we can manufacture one out of blankets and yeah. sheets mm-hmm. and stuff so yeah well, i mean that's the best be... thing i have is yeah. they'll bring some blankets to cover the corpse Wrap her up uh, like a burrito, and just as we turn around the corner, flink. Yeah, just tell pieces. She's much lighter now. We need to see if anybody else. We need to double check and see if anybody else is dead or if anybody else is missing. Yeah. Because she might not be the only victim. Did you see everybody else in the cart, or is there anybody missing? Uh, Kim will just tell you what's going on as he goes past, but that's about it. He says he's barricaded the front. Uh, so it's going to take a day for them to get to what us. What caused the derailment? Do we uh, know? A tree, and ca- they came around the corner too fast, didn't see it, and hit the tree. We're very lucky we're not 
dead right now. So something potentially big enough to throw a tree or plant a tree in the tracks yeah. and then fast enough to get out of sight. Yeah. That combined is terrifying. Yep. But I gotta knowing what we people. know now, you know, much Wait. larger than a human hand size, potential three claws. Uh, of course, no one's actually examined the tree. Yeah, no one has. <laughs> Just pointing that out. Kim no was one's... by himself. I'm a little preoccupied. <laughs> getting, and he was more worried about making sure people were alive. Well, did the engineers not have any ideas? No, they said so there was a tree. Oh. You can ask them yourself. I brought them along. Is it used with a chainsaw? Or I'll go out and take a look, but I want somebody watching my back while I look. Don't look at me. <laughs> we can't trust you, Casey. After Kim Kinney. I don't have a character. Everyone he can. And none of the passengers are going to go with him. After Kim mm. kind of heals everybody he has, he's going to just be like, okay, stay here. Let's go take care of this. We could get lucky. She could become a ghost and just let us know who killed her. Is that considered lucky? Maybe mm. she's going to come back to haunt you. Luck is so subjective. Oh, yeah. Let's... Also, just so um, I know, like, they went doctor. Kim went out to find that. I went to see a stone, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Him yeah. I, I apologize. Stuff. Well, it's okay. I'm just like, You're I right. don't know I that forgot. I'm with you guys yet, and I want that clear, because I've been chipping in. No, I mean, Estella is actually back in the dining car. Mm-hmm. She's attempting to help people with what she can. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, she's not a nurse, not anything. So uh, she's been Man. more or less doing things under Dr. Church's order mm-hmm. until Xavier came and took Dr. Church. And now she's just kind of wrapping bandages yeah. around as best she can, she's offering a... comforting words. Yeah, but She's a serious, like, mm-hmm. does she have any insight? <laughs> Give well, me a Couldn't have seen this, ask. huh? She's like, joke's on you. She pulls out her tarot. She's like, <laughs> You're going to meet great evil today, Kim. See, well, there's let's, the tree. Let's leave this with Brian right now, yeah. please. <laughs> Stop chiming in and interrupting, please. Well, it looks like you made it out just fine. She's like, oh, not just fine. Got a bump, pretty good bump on the head, but uh, I'm not as bad as some. Yeah. I'm, like, hiding my, like, bloody shirt over here. Just like, yeah. Yeah, not as bad as them. Um, out of curiosity, how does your talk to dead people thing work? Oh, that's right. Oh, I mean, yeah, usually I need a personal token of theirs. Oh, okay. Because uh, it appears that uh, there was a murder of one of our uh, friends. And it would be helpful if we could maybe ask her what happened. What I didn't know. And I wasn't sure whether to involve you because yeah, whatever killed her may target you if you do. So... I, of course, will do everything I can. Oh, oh, oh my. Yeah. To protect you from that, but we don't know what happened. Just that our friend is very dead. Uh, I see. Um, Do you know when it happened? Uh, I don't know. They were doing some investigating, and they uh, were... Taking Dr. Oh, Church is that over. Where the doctor... Yes. Well, mm-hmm. um, yes, maybe I can help with that. All right. Um, yeah. Um, well, come with me. I'll show you to her area. Okay. So you take her. I totally forgot that she was there. 
And I mean, once you get out of the dining car, she gets really chatty mm-hmm. about like, wow, I've never, never actually done this on a body before. Usually just have a token. Yeah. I mean, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't because token needs to be really attuned to the person. And mm-hmm. I mean, having the body, that's can't think of anything more personal. I hope so. She turns her into a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh... But yeah, you... It doesn't take too long to get her there. And yeah, mm-hmm. Dr. Church is basically lifting an arm and dropping it every couple minutes. Uh, hey guys, this is yeah. Estella. Yeah. She's a smart serious, and she can maybe talk to dead people. Uh, she's, she's very excited. Away. This is her very first dead body. I'll get out of the way. Okay. Uh, what is occultism based off of? I think it's mine, but I'm not Might sure. Might be spirit. Might be spirit. Yeah. Uh, is it the occultism skill? Yeah. Okay. Further, <laughs> further. Okay, I'm gonna roll and see what she actually mm. comes up with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it'd probably be divination. Okay. Divination, um, is... divination is off of mind. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, she kind of sets herself down, puts her skirt, arranges her skirt around herself, take, takes the hand the doctor has been lifting and dropping, grabs a hold of it, so the doctor kind of steps away for a minute, and so she's got it kind of between her hands. And she closes her eyes and she starts going through a breathing exercise. It seems like like you would for meditation is what it seems like. Mm-hmm. And after about a minute of that, her eyes just come wide open. And you see this look of, for a second of shock... And she, you hear a, no, not that, not. And then Estelle just kind of falls over. No. Uh, I'll go catch her. I'm just going to hold her to be like, hey, uh, you, you okay? She blinks for a second and is like, wow. Um, yeah, that that's never happened. That's completely new. Um, it was only for a second, and it looked like uh, it looked humanoid, mm-hmm. but it had wings and claws, and it just moved so suddenly and quickly. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, it had wings and claws and a, a beaked head. Not, not quite like a bird. Hmm. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, it it walked upright. It. it was humanoid, but it had a pair of wings behind it. Hmm. And just the violence in its eyes. Are we? Mm. Does this sound mm. any familiar to you? <clears throat> Is it like a scholar role? Oh, yeah, scholar. 
I have Scarlet too, but I figured it'd be make more sense. I it might be. Oh no, you could make a Scarlet roll. It's going to be harder for you, but yes, you can. Is that make... a one? It is a mishap. I am playing Rally. Everyone can discard as many cards as they wish from their hands and then refill. Tell me how many you need. One. You get one. Two. Oh, yeah. I just want two. I try to put them on the ground and, and well, not put them on the ground. On the but, table. Yeah. Right. Two. I ended on the ground. Two. Throw my glory away. Yeah. For shame. <laughs> Don't worry, I got another one. I have two. Just kidding. You have two glories in your hand. Yeah. No. Oh, I need. My... Does anybody have Does second, second chance? chance? All I got is Nemesis. Nice. It's I demon. tried. I yeah, tried. Yeah, go, ahead, go ahead and roll a scholar there, Fred. I mean, all of you could roll a mind in theory. Well, I'm not there. Or is this by the time I've gotten back? This is by the time you've okay. gotten back. Then I'm going to roll a... Can I roll a scholar as well? 14. Just mind? You've heard of these things? You've heard that there is one in the Nile Empire? That doesn't help me. I... It doesn't help you a lot, but it's like, yeah, that's familiar. I got. You've heard something similar of a creature in the Nile Empire? Okay. Was that a yes that I could roll on Scholar or just yeah, Mind? Yeah, you okay. can. Scholar of Mind. <laughs> this was... I mean, you can do a Mind. Because there is a possibility you come into information about these i got 17 it's a 20 playing supporter nice 17 okay so brian because you were actually one of the invaders and at one time was more actually closely associated with mobius mm -hmm. you know about this creature and you know there's only one in the nile empire at all mm -hmm. and it was sent as a servant from somebody else and you know that it was sent by the gaunt man himself to serve mobius and the creature is called a ravagon oh oh and you know they are intelligent they are bipedal humanoid with wings they have more of a pterodactyl head mm. with pterodactyl But yeah, everything she described, yeah, that's that's a Ravagon. You oh. know they are vicious. Uh, no. No? Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what it looks like. No, 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 no. Kind of, sort of. Just, just look, look at, at the it. picture. <laughs> oh, nice. There. Yeah. Oh my dear goodness, that is not pleasant looking. Oh, cool. I mean, this one's a very specifically named one. But that's the general form. They all have that shape. No, I don't know what I'd be doing out here. Uh, they are servants of the Gaunt Man. Right. <laughs> so maybe he got upset with her and sent it after her. Well, he doesn't necessarily know who she is. I don't know that she might. Marion was important enough to warrant a Ravagum. And so Kim is like, well, are these things bad? Very bad. Can I kill it? I don't know. I've never seen anyone do with it. Okay. Think it's still around? Uh, I don't know. Does anybody want to watch my back while I go check to see if this is actually it? We're accident? all going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if this thing is out there, we're all going. We're sticking together. Uh, do we want to get Perry? Yes. yes. Okay. I'll go get her. Because I don't want to leave her unattended. No. Like, look what happened last time. I no, like, literally, you're going to walk in the door and she's already gone. Don't say that shit. 
Stop. <laughs> it is our roar. Both in and out of character. Stop. <laughs> I don't have multiple cards to play to get all these sadnesses. <laughs> Kim is a little disappointed that uh, Marion is dead. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a 10-minute break. Yeah. And welcome back. So, we have a murder mystery on our hands. Yay. And we are going to check in the tree to see what it, yep. to see what fell there. Evidence analysis? Um, I'll convey to Perry that Marion is gone. She is a little conflicted you can tell there's there is some sadness but you feel like there's more relief sure totally understandable and it turns out you got a bunch of sisters we need to track down maybe potentially we'll see I know I know I <laughs> it's now just turning to Lilo and Stitch one <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you all head out, and you're yes. looking at the tree. Um, Yeah, go ahead and do an evidence analysis. Right. Actually, let's start with a mind, sorry. Give me a basic mind first. Okay, I did the evidence analysis. I rolled a 20. Well, you just but then you mind. told me to do mind, so should I keep that for the evidence analysis or for the mind? You can keep that for the evidence analysis. Oh, yeah. Mike, you know, did you miss that? Stop going blind. Oh, well, the tree's over here. <laughs> That's crooked. There we go. 16. Now, you're, you're looking at the top half of the tree that has obviously been destroyed, but, oh, obviously it was smashed down. <laughs> it's like, That's a tree? A nine, mind. <laughs> Is this and, monkey fecal yeah. matter? That'd be I don't know. Taste it. That'd be a 13 mind. At uh, 15 mind. Okay, mind. so you're actually looking at the tree. It explodes. And Does it? Yeah. yeah. But I haven't. I, I mean, was rolling the 20. Since I rolled the yeah. 20, I get an 8. Plus, plus 1. You're looking at 37. it and. 37 would be 11. 24. 24. So you put together that. The tree was actually felled, but not by tools. May I see this? By, like, claws? Look at this. Yeah. Something. Not claws, probably, but something felled it. Joe was done on purpose. You believe so. Okay. Do the cuts look... He uh, he says it wasn't cut by tools, but I'm not quite sure what else would cut down a tree a big enough. Claw? I asked. Oh. No, it is not claws. Hmm. Can Kim try to move it? Sure. Kim running into it? Is, that, is, that, is it like something heavy hit it and then knocked it over? No, because it's not splintered like that. An 18 strength? It, it was intentionally felled. But not by tools, and you don't think by claws. What else can... Acid? One giant beaver. <laughs> um, not Beef. acid. It looks It looks more like it was rotted. Oh. So somebody cast rot on it? We don't know. Some, Is something that of spell? that, but it looks like it was mm. rotted, and it's only rotted in Atrophy. a very small place. You didn't mm. hit me. Oh, I touched your toes. No, you didn't. Uh, 18 but strength to move okay. it. Oh, yeah. It, just... I mean, it, it's not a huge tree. It doesn't take a lot to derail a train, honestly. Depends on how fast it's you going. Just pick it up and just chuck it at whatever's coming out of it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you could totally do like the Scottish Sabre with this tree. Caber tossing? Caber. Yeah, Caber. Okay. Sorry. No, it's totally fine. I want to go like... You were right. one letter Caber. off, and it was I'm like, no, you're like, it just, it just threw my head. I'm like, that, I, I can't cross it. Throw it. It's it <laughs> about 
Yeah, it's basically about the size of a caber. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kim just is easily just like, oh yeah, we yeah. get this back home. Boom. If normal human Scottishmen can do it, Kim could do it. <laughs> oh, Kim could do it like with two fingers. God. Yeah. No, yeah. Do it's... the hay bale toss. Well, you know what that means. It was a corrupted Scotsman who did it. Yeah, sounds about right. Mm-hmm. And I don't think there's mm. any way I could figure out a way to get this train back on its rails. It's heavy. We did it once before. You did it once before. I mean, again, it would be your one thing. I think the time we did it before, it was a scholar check or engineering check. I can't remember. It was whatever your thing is check. It was, uh, yeah. Could be science. Your strange science. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your weird science. Weird science is a perk. Science. Yeah, just yeah, science. science. You have to make the check to have your perk succeed. But uh, you could do it. On the weird science perk itself? Well, uh, he has to do a science test. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. And it's a, I set the number and he does his weird science test. Well, then you we just still need have 60k to more and my shield becomes worse. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think if I do the weird science things. Can I get it back on the tra track and hooked up? Yeah. Okay. That that is something that is solvable through that. I will tr attempt to do that. Okay. That's a pull power. I That's a plus that. one. Gonna use a drama card. Okay. That's sixteen. So that's a total of thirty. Now it's science, that would be a twenty-two. Okay. I mean you look over this and you go back into the supplies and I mean they have some basic supplies emergency stuff like they do have chains mm -hmm. and you are looking through the trees and you do see one really big tree nearby that you're like oh yeah that that'll work it's got some big thick heavy branches and you're able to you find several pulleys and you're able to impromptu a pulley system oh, okay. that It'll take effort. You'll probably need Kim to do it, but he could get it back on the tracks with it. Kim, pull this. Hard. Hard. I'm going to make a strength check? Yeah. Okay. What's an eight? An eight is a minus two. No, no, no. That's a total of eight. Oh, your total is eight? Total yeah, is you're eight. not moving anything. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Uh, that's not the same. Now nah, we'll just do it one more time. That explodes. 24. Speaking of which, did you explode your evidence analysis? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 24. So that's a total of 22 strength. Okay, so... It takes him a bit. It takes him a bit. Kim's not familiar with pulleys. But yeah, you're actually able to, with Zed kind of guiding you and doing some weird stuff, but yeah, you are able to get the locomotive and coal car back on. And hook back up to the train. And hook back up. Okay, let's go. Yep, time to go. Back on the bus. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, the engineers are kind of surprised. Can't figure something out. Oh, no worries. Watch out for trees next time. Mm -hmm. It was around a corner. Oh, yeah. We couldn't see it. 
quite a bit. Big giant mirror. You, you, in front you of literally <laughs> know that it this was intentional. We could put uh, Kim on the cow guard. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Kim. I mean, you're not wrong there. <laughs> Just put him on the front like we did with the tank. That's what they're saying. The cattle guard. <laughs> Kim's grumbling about it, but he'll do it. <laughs> he'll be like, this is worse than the tank. This this is worse than the minefield. You have like a fishing pole we can just feed him while he's up there? We're just... Well, this is where the rhythm mini game comes in as a bunch of trees come in and Kim has to punch him in time oh, to the song. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the game with the runner? Gotta... Frogger. No, no. 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 Load it's runner? like Temple Run, but it's got oh, like trains and stuff. Yeah, yeah, Subway Runner. Yeah. All I can think of is Load Runner back in the 80s. <sighs> I mean, it's a new game, but that's immediately the one I started thinking of is the Hi Fi Rush. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, that game is all about rhythm. And I don't know, I don't understand people's fixation with pepper, peppermint. I'm like, okay, she's cool, but what's Corsica's Corsica's the one I prefer. I've watched a movie called Peppermint. Peppermint's one of the people in the game. So is Corsica. Mm. And all I can say is given the choice between the two, I would take Corsica. Oh, I don't know the game, so Okay, we'll continue on our way. Just checking the perk power. Yeah, very fine. Yeah, the thing that I didn't understand is that uh, is that enhancements, and they looked like they were individualistic, but then there's no comment about them in the perk, so I didn't know how they were applied at all. Yeah. So, for Nile pulp powers, he's talking about no, it's don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, sorry, no. never mind. No, no. Yeah, there's yeah. there's pretty much. I know Isle has one, which is the Beastmaster. The warden as well. The warden. Yeah, Adinos have uh, like primal companion or something like that. I yeah, can't what it's called. But you get a saber tooth or a pterosaur. Yeah, I was like, I, can... I don't think there's one in Core Earth yet. No, but I know. The no, there, I, wouldn't I, be the drone. Isn't there a familiar? Oh, I don't know. I could be. Yeah. Wrong. Oh, I'm not thinking of followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah followers that's not the same as companions. No, they're they're like having a retinue. <laughs> Give them like a couple skills, and it's. I mean, Marion had one, the Isle one. Yeah. Well, we're back on the train, watching for a Ravagon. Kim's just sitting on the front, just. <laughs> no, they're not gonna let you sit on the front, believe it or not. <laughs> but you can hang out out front. I'll probably be in in, in, the, in the engineering. Yeah. In the. In the ing engine with the. Yeah. Can't do words, man. I mean, if anybody can shovel coal, it's Kim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but that's a measured thing. Yes, they do. More coal equals more speed, right? Uh... Yeah, but you can... They... No, no, I, I'm aware. It doesn't have to be more complex than, hey, dwarf, one shovel every ten minutes on my mark. Like, it, don't overthink it. Yeah, it doesn't. Just because I say something doesn't mean you always have to shoot it down. <laughs> Done it three times today already. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, I've just seen the pictures of those locomotive explosions, oh, yeah. and those are horrific. Guys. I'll survive. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then we're stuck. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. It doesn't matter what you can survive. It reminds me of... Uh, collateral damage. Battlefield. Not Battlefield Earth. Like the one with... Uh, Vin Diesel, and he has to take the chick across the border. Oh, and the Babylon ED. Yeah, Babylon ED is like... In order to kill me, you gotta take a nuke, and she's like, "Bless your heart." And I'm like, "Oh, oh, she launched a nuke at him." Okay, <laughs> it's a good movie. It's a great film. I've never actually. I wanted to see it, and I haven't. I think I watched it it's once a, a long time ago. The, uh, I don't think I've Chimeric it. Twins at the end. Yeah, yeah. He's in another one too. With he's a witch hunter or something. Yeah, called the witch hunter. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called the witch oh, hunter. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's I was. It's decent. They're not. They're not great, but I was no. Like, it was decent for, and it was not what, what was. I was expecting. Yeah. Well, then he played uh, D and D with yeah, two role. Yeah, he it, yeah. it was crit role, 
to he, showcase the, the film because he played the witch hunter, which is his D and D character. The blood made, hunter. Yeah, yeah. So he, they made a film about his D and D character, which is. I thought it was the other way around. Uh, no, no. So they. I thought he was in the film, and then they made the character PC based off of what he played. Other way, other way. Yeah, matter. that's the lore. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, let's go. yeah. And they said they were going to make another one, and they haven't, and I'm rather disappointed. Anyway. It's like LaCroix. It just tastes bad. <laughs> it's like static. It's like someone... It was like a truck of LaCroix went by a truck full of lemons, and that's the flavor. <laughs> so we're on this train. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so now we have a culprit. We have a culprit. We don't know where they're at. I mean... Hopefully we don't know they're at, where they're at, but let's, uh, cause I don't want to fight in this train. Oh, I got, I got the perfect car for that. God, no, now I'm having flashbacks oh. to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood where Kimberly fights Scar on the trains oh, in yeah. the north. Fantastic Shambhala. set of scenes. No, not in Shambhala, the, the new series. Brotherhood, right? Yeah, Brotherhood. Yeah, when and, they, weren't they going to it? No, they're up in the <laughs> North Mountains area. Oh, yeah. Be glad I can't do the Demon Slayer train one. I haven't seen it, so. I have. I haven't seen it. Oh, Julia yeah. loves it. My daughter, it's one of her new favorite animes. Oh my god. The Demon Slayer. I've heard good things about it. Demon yeah. Slayer train? Ooh. I'll See, have I, to watch it. I'm watching that, Kanabari and Iron Fortress, and there's a whole issue with a the train there, because they can't stop because it's zombie land. Oh, really? It's a good anime. Mm. Oh, if you are not familiar, with I have burned it. through six in the Dude, last week. It's the week. zombie version of Attack on Titan, it, and it's like Snowpiercer meets. Is it zombies. the same level of like gore? Yeah, worse. Okay, then I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, don't watch it with your watch. It, well, maybe not you, but like no. No, definitely don't watch it. With I don't your like kids. Attack on Titan. <laughs> Attack on Titan is meh, not my bag. I mean, it'll yeah, be it's fine. Attack on Titan, but no, Demon Slayer is not. No, it's not possible. quite as bad as Attack. It's close. Okay. Yeah. Not quite. It's a lot of simulated. Things. I'll IMDB uh, it. See yeah. what happens. Well, there's a movie. Just watch the movie. Okay. You don't have to watch the whole series. For what? Demon uh, Slayer. Kanbari, oh, yeah. The Iron Fortress. There's a movie. Oh, oh there's a movie for that? Yeah. Okay. It, it's, no, it, the, the train is the movie for Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the train arc is the movie. It's rough. Yeah, and I watched uh, Train of anyway. Busan and stuff. Ooh, yeah. I, I've just been on a train kick the last Have you seen Bullet Train? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, well, you were talking about stuff a second ago. My brain went straight to Bullet Train, and I just shut up because I was like, we're going to go such on a tangent. A, such and then we went on a tangent anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we went on a tangent. We, we, we were talking about fighting on the train, and I was like, yeah. Bullet Train. The whole... Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're going on this train. I'm just teeing it up to you. All there, right. Yeah. So... I mean, it gets the power back on. Okay, good. And they start going, and there's a bit of a wobble in the train. Yeah, so they, the conduct, a cup, uh, one of the conductors that isn't hurt, is kind of going. Yeah, one of the axles is bent. We're gonna have to limp it, but we'll get there. By limping, you mean it mm-hmm. reduces the speed, uh, mm-hmm. the maximum mm-hmm. speed. Uh, yeah. Five day trip, and then now it's a t- ten day trip. Uh, it's rough. Yeah. Well, it's going to be two day trip to get to the city. Well, not the city. Oh, it's going to add an extra me. night to get to the city. There, they can change out locomotives. Okay. But at least we're moving. But yeah. you are moving. That's true. Okay. The train has power. It was four hours to our next target. How, is it going to take a six, ten? It's going to take twelve. Okay. It's better than a full mm-hmm. day just to get it fixed. That's fair. Yeah. I just want to get out of a wash. Dude, mm. all of us do. <laughs> mm. No kidding. Let's go spend time in Zombie Land. I don't care. Get out of freaking this place. <laughs> we go Pan Pacific. It becomes man. Train of Busan. Yeah. Because oh, we, oh my God. No. Mm-hmm. What are we? Gosh, dang. I haven't it. seen so, that so we one get, yet. 
we get the monkeys, oh, really the we get the rabbit god, and the zombies all at once in a mix zone. We're just effed. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh yeah, you're going to pass it's, through a mix zone. Yeah, it's, it's no, it's no bueno. Yeah, well, we don't get to choose what we do. Cast everything on fire. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, I have no doubt. <laughs> Freaking so, leave and nuke it from orbit. <laughs> I'm flying. <laughs> the only way to be certain. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why they didn't do it in the first place. Yeah. Well, we're gonna glass mm, Russia. Yes. <laughs> the reason they didn't do it in the first place is because they expected to find live colonists. Of course they did. Also. They wouldn't have a plot otherwise. I mean, to be fair, there was also the Fred shirt, Waylon. Yeah, were you? Mm. They they want one for the bio weapons division. Yeah, of course they do. That uh, was literally the entire plot of Alien Resurrection. Well, there's the new. There's only two RPG movies, so I don't know what you're talking about. I think I that's have fair. It. It's a lot of fun. That that's fair. Alien Resurrection. I'm sure not quite sure if there's six Star Wars or three. It's like fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> the only ones I'll recognize. I mean, I'll recognize season three the, Mandalorian. I will recognize the original six Lucas movies. Mm. I will recognize Rogue One. That was well done. Mm -hmm. That was the best. That was the best. That was the best Disney they, one. That was the all old. of them. Period. It's my favorite of all. Of them. And that's fine. I recognize the Mandalorian definitively as Star. Wars. I recognize you the also recognize the Book of Boba Fett. That's I haven't so even bad. seen it. It is oh, so bad. Oh no, no, it is. It was not. horrendous. You so shut your bad. mouth when he when he totally like. No, nope, no, nope, like riding nope, a nope, Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it was stop. horrendous. Stop. Stop. I haven't seen it. Okay. I, we'll probably try and see it. So we're on this I train. I have not heard a lot of good things about it. We're on this train and we're I'm traveling. Gonna, it's it going to take horrendous. us 12 hours. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, you can help with injuries. Yeah. You get most people up and moving again. But, yeah, I can... I should the, probably... the mood in the train is very, very um, quiet. I People play. are now heavily sticking together. Yeah, Sorry. No, Let me you're, set you're, the ambience. Keep going, keep going. And now I'm t kicking well, the door. I can play the reality surge card, which makes me a mix zone in and of myself, so I don't have to roll to disconnect, and Ooh. I can heal everybody. That is a good idea. Because I can touch every single person once and heal multiple wounds. Okay. But only each person once. I can't do everybody multiple That's wounds. really good, though. But I can... Then yeah. I don't have to worry about connecting. Yeah. Yeah. That's or a good idea. Disconnecting, rather. So. See, uh, and I was just shattering things to make them um, heal yeah. all their shock. Yeah, it removes yeah. shock, but there were more than a few wounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. Nah. Was there, anybody, really good was there anybody else missing that besides is... her? Oh, sweet. Uh, no. Actually, um, no one is missing. Base 1520, so that makes it outstanding. Or dead, I should say. So just all their wounds. Three no. wounds. No, no one is dead. Better. So, uh, I mean, Father Engelhard is cussing up a storm about infidels. He constantly looks at. Just, it's <laughs> like he blames Xavier. We're for gonna that. fight. Is but the gonna... best part is he's over cursing and he's just like, I don't care. Heal, 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 heal. My miracles work. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so does his. Yeah, actually, so good. Then help and. Shit. Well, it's fine. You know what? If he's helping, then I'll deal with it. I don't mean uh, to Seculum is doesn't have those merits. No, nope, they don't have they don't have nice ones. <laughs> they don't have nice ones. No, they have ones. like castration. Yeah, yeah. Castigation. That's crucifixion. Such a, such a good one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Xavier, can I, I love get a good uh, castigation one of those in the morning? Mm -hmm. uh, magic touches of yours. Yep. Thank you. I'll need one as well. Ooh, that's an explosion. So four rolls. It's three, two, and three, and two, well, yeah, three, two, three, two wounds. So the first four are the three wounds, two wounds, three wounds, and two wounds. Whoever okay, so wants it. Thank you. Very good. I don't need it. So. I went relatively unscathed. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, what's a one? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, let's see. Um, That's why Gunther Edmund took it. Edmund, if you'll heal him, he actually did get hurt a little bit. Or there's an indent where I hit <laughs> And there's an indent where I hit him. <laughs> That's three. That just popped out. Wow. I, I heal, so as long as I roll a five or higher, I the minimum I can heal is one wound. Which is a good job. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I have a base of 14 and a minus four is still a success because yeah. it's a 10. So as long as I roll a five or higher, I just heal one wound. Which is really good. That's yeah. a really good job. That's why um, I took it. I was like, oh, I can just heal wounds. Are you mm-hmm. at max faith? No, no, I'm. I'm. That that's the now that I have this done, the next thing oh, are yeah. skills. Okay. So I'm gonna get the 15 in kinetic, uh, kinesis and 15 in faith. Nice. So that'll give me the plus one, which would make the my base a. Uh, oh, there is no minus five. What? Oh, it goes by two. So even then. So, You're but that's good. the most I can get then. You're still good. Point. I mean. And then I am thinking I'm gonna take because oh, you only take, can you take it once or you twice? Only take it once, Damn. which is what screwed up Gunther. Yeah, that's true. That's right. We learned. We learned. Yeah. Because the most you can add is five ads, right? Yeah. Without that, and then it's six. Eight. Eight. Oh. Oh shit. Oh no, it does things. Mm. I might do that for Kinesis. That's why uh, Sailor Moon has the super skill in persuasion. Giving her a plus 20. That's sexy. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. So, um, Carl von Rolsch is one of the worse off. He is an elder gentleman. Okay. Well. His wife is also injured. She looks middle-aged. Well, I can I can soothe. I, not that it matters. Um, they don't have any more shock. Okay. They only have wounds they left. They only yeah. have wounds. Well, left. so healing uh, healing cures wounds and all shock. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah. matter. But yeah. Yes. So even if I hear one wound, it cures all shock. All right. Good for Thirteen you. is a plus one, so that's a fifteen. That makes it two wounds. Okay. I mean, all ministration, but like I said, the mood is very somber. Yeah. Um, why do I keep forgetting her name? Castella. Callistra. Callistra B. I mean, she seems completely uninjured. And she's going around, she's offering kind words, but doesn't seem to be doing more than that. Um, I will, Kim will talk, kind of pull, um, Alan aside and say, hey, mm-hmm. that lady you were talking to, and she talked to the dead, can she do other things? Um, uh, I don't know, what other things are you asking? Well, maybe she can, like, focus in on this Ravagon thing and see where it is, so we know, just kind of like, we have a heads up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know for sure. I can hmm. always ask her how it works. So, uh, I'll go find and check on this Stella again. Okay. Hmm. All right. Hey, uh, my friend Kim was wondering your how your magic powers work because he wants to know if you can track the creature or find out where it is. I don't have anything from it. No. So, again, we need something from it. No, I don't have anything from it. Nothing but bad memories. Is there a piece of claw in what's-her-name's throat? (laughs) That's the only thing I can think of where we would get something from it. Mm-hmm. Not a bad thought. Right. Lots of, yeah. You don't find any parts of it in the corpse. Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, uh, 
I feel like involving your help may have put you in danger, so uh, I'll mm -hmm. keep a lookout for you. Hope we get oh. through. Well, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alan. Very gentlemanly of you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll make some rounds and look around. Let's go, kid. I uh, okay. Okay. Doop a doop a doop. Boom 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 boom. Stamp it. Let me learn. I have a clean chiller problem. All right. What are you looking for on your rounds? Uh, I don't know. Answers to <laughs> deepest questions in life. Like 42. Where does a Ravagon hide and why is it out here? How many roads does a man walk down? Mm -hmm. 42. Yeah. Very much. Well, uh, I think I'll go uh, check on Xavier, too. He's had a long day. All right. I'm just healing everybody. Mm -hmm. So uh, when yes, you're done. But have you healed yourself? No. no. Uh, I mean, like I said, the day is passing. People are being are very somber, and everyone mm -hmm. seems to be staying pretty well congregated. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Good. That's what I told them to do. Hey, Xavier. Uh, I mean, once word got out that there was a murder. Mm -hmm. Who told the staff? staff. I mean, staff I mouth shuts. That's also fair. Conductor. I, I, I mean, it was overheard when he first got Estella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the rumors went quickly. It got confirmed rather readily. Mm-hmm. I mean, that wasn't something I, you guys were ever going to keep covered up. Oh, long. no. Oh. No. Especially I mean, when I'm involved. He's like, hmm, yeah, sure. There's a murder. <laughs> Alan just There <laughs> <laughs> was a murder. Right. He's printed on a badge on his chest. <laughs> Official murder investigator. <laughs> Where did that come from? I have a negative security clearance. <laughs> <laughs> You are not allowed to be a private citizen. You are only allowed to be a public citizen. Uh, oh, Xavier. That's about the doing? only thing I can think of for negative clearance. <laughs> my sorrow is plentiful and my heart is broken. Mm. But I have to keep my spirits up for everybody. Mm. I'll, I'll deal with it later. Kim will... um. Raid what's left of the the dining cart, and like try to bring out whatever alcohol there is. Oh, okay. And just keep it going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Liquid courage, huh? Giving it to everybody. You can't be panicked if you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can't shoot straight either. I don't shoot, but I'm not getting drunk. It's for them. <laughs> it's for the civilians. All right, so yeah, I mean, not not we're not giving them piss drunk. We're we're getting no, them. No, but you're you'll give them a drink. Mm -hmm. We're settling their nerves. And uh, if probably not, if they if take a shot, you know, like okay, take a shot, leave a shot. <laughs> yeah. See if any of them have instruments. Uh, I play. mean, yeah, most take a shot. Um. Dr. Church does not. Father Engelhart does not. Barov does not. Okay. Well, my religion doesn't say no. <laughs> Delicious. I can't do tricks. Um. Mm. Okay. Do you want a full list of people? No. No? Okay. Just a number. Ten. Plus servants. And how many of those have we already talked to? 
Uh, you have not talked to the younger couple. You have not talked to the older couple. Uh, there are some... A couple of women you have not spoken to. Uh, one is... Appears younger. Are there ten attractor. left that we haven't talked to? No, no, no. Ten total. Ten total. Like I said, do you want an actual list of names of people? Oh, wait till he's done writing, then he can. No, write I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and list. Okay, so there is the young married couple is Sarah and Martin Freson. F R E S O N. So the older couple. Is Marissa and Carl Van Rolsch. Marissa and Carl what? Van V A N Rolsch R A L S H. Okay. Uh, Stella Valtois. Estella. Estella. So, is that different from the other Estella? No. Okay. Okay. I, I'm just giving you every name. That's totally fine. Yep. We should have confirmed. Yes. Feel free to ask. And the next people? Uh, Father Emmanuel Engelhart. Have that. Him. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Edmund Church. Have that. Abigail Starling. We don't have that. Starly? Yep. And Abigail Thornley. Thornley? Thornley. Okay. Abigail is a common name. No. I didn't even realize I gave him the same first name. Kim probably still thinks they're twins. They look nothing alike. Still probably thinks they're twins. <laughs> the are thing. Oh yes, and Kalistra Barov. Okay, yep. we have her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Kim will talk to the old couple because he's used to old people. I mean, he's he's more of an old soul. He's more like Bucky. Talking to old people. Okay. Uh, how are you uh, doing? Well... That wreck, what were they thinking? Poor Carl, he's been through enough already. And just... <sighs> threw him down on the ground? He's not young. Well, yeah, I know how that is. He needs to get him some armor like this. Tink, tink. She's like... <laughs> It protected me. It hurt that fellow over there, but I mean, I was only because I landed on him. He's not young anymore. Neither am I. I, it, I I'm no longer 250 spring chicken. He kind of quirks an eyebrow at that. He's like, oh, oh, sorry, and then removes his helmet. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> I'm not from here. We call them little people where I'm from. <laughs> Anyway, what 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 do you want, uh, Mister? I my name is Kim. I just want to see how well, how am I Southern? <laughs> how Sorry, you know? I speak to providers all day, and I, I adopt a Southern accent. It's a it's a habit. Um, I'm from Southern England. <laughs> I'm from the South of France. <laughs> That's not how they sound. In the South of France. Uh. Folks around here just call it Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Kim's like, my name is Kim uh, Broken Pick, if if you prefer surnames. Uh, my friends and I, we were traveling on this train going east, just like everyone else. Um, uh, it was actually our crew that was able to get the train back on the tracks, and we had our, our priest go and heal everybody. I was in here earlier 
throwing down my little flashy discs, trying to help, whatever. Well, yes, I I do remember. We're just trying to make sure everybody's feeling a little better. It, sometimes these derailments, they can happen, and uh, they can cause a little bit of shaking nerves. Well, and... There's that rumor that someone was murdered. There was a body, yes, but we've but we've been taking care of it. What do you mean there was a body? We gave her her last rites and buried her. Was she killed in the accident? I am actually not certain about that. I don't know. I didn't come across until after the train had issues. Which is correct, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, technically okay. correct. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't want to lie here. He's trying try to tell the truth. <laughs> Kim doesn't know. So someone did die? Yeah, but you you understand. I mean, you're a young couple and... They're not young. He says, you're a young couple. Oh, okay. Um, You... From what I understand, humans kind of have a shorter lifespan than us dwarfs, but uh, seem to be no stranger to death. I mean, it's a natural habit habitat. Dude, English. It happens fairly frequently, especially at my age. Huh. It's an unfortunate part of life, but it does happen. And... Uh, whether it happens by a train or something else, it, it's going to happen to all of us eventually. Yes, well, I'd rather Carl stay with me a few years longer. Completely understandable. And if and if you stay near us for the rest of this train ride, I'll, we'll make sure that you, if there's any more derailments, we'll take care of you and heal you. Well, I see. I'm going to get back to my Carl. Definitely do that. Give him a hug from me. Okay, and she kind of quirks an eyebrow like, what? <laughs> do you guys not hug in this world? Yes, but generally not strangers. Oh, I didn't say, you hug me, give him a hug. Because you're, you're his wife, right? Yes. Yeah, everybody likes hugs from their wife. You are a strange man, Mr. Broken Pick. Yep. And he'll just waddle off. Oh, okay. As an aside, when uh, Jeremiah said 250 spring chicken, I was like, does Kim measure time in chickens? <laughs> <laughs> I just might. <laughs> Deep fried chicken. <laughs> Now that I know about it, yes. <laughs> chicken waffles. Ooh, chicken and waffles, but the waffles are chicken. Sure. Have you not had that? Like you take a. Never mind. I know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I'm a fat kid. <laughs> up next <laughs> Kim did his fair share of talking Bueller we have the young couple and the Abigails Bueller <laughs> yeah. I'll go and talk the, to one uh, of the Abigails I guess we which want one? Starling or Thornley let's do Th which one's older Thornley Thornley I guess in both of these are Fred Six Swamps. 50-50. It's Ron Swanson, but all of them are named Tammy. Oh my God. As long as one of the ones name's not Lisa, we're good. Or Carrie. Or Steve. That'd be weird. That would be very weird. Kind of okay. like a guy named Ashley. I know, actually, I knew a few Ashleys. It was a male name a mm -hmm. while ago. Had a boomstick. Mm -hmm. 
I go, hi, how you doing? She looks at you and is like, do I know you? My name is Zed. Oh, she's a preppy. Abigail. I And I sit down next to her whether she offers a chair or not. You know, are you from Orsh? I'm from Victoria. That's... Which you would know is the world... That's that, where White's from. Yeah. Yeah. That's ah. the realm that came over. Ah. I am from the Nile. I see. And, uh... What do you do here, Zed? Right now, I seem to put trains back on their tracks. I've done that twice, though. Very good. You some kind of engineer? No. <laughs> I do weird things. Weird things? And I, and I pull out what used to be my handgun, put it down, and says, That shoots lightning now. I see. Oh, I used to. I need to know the charge, I think. Interesting. I make... So, are you some kind of scientist, then? Yes. Yes. I'm a scholar. I like tr to travel and learn new things. Ah, very good. It, uh, Zed is your first name or your last? It is my first name. Okay. It's like she... Oh, well, very well, Professor, if you don't mind me calling you by your title rather than your first name. I don't mind. I was, uh, uh, before all this weird things start happening, I was a professor at the, uh, what was that? Uh, Egypt College. University a, of Egypt. Cairo a, University. Cairo yeah. University in Egypt. I, I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Uh, I was, a. I was there. And then weird things happened, and all of a sudden, I am now... Uh, yes, this whole invasion happened. And then the invasion happened, and now... It's thrown mummies. everyone for a loop. Yeah, I started talking to mummies. They have several so mummies. As long as they w prefer to talk and not strangle you. Well, they were behind glass. They were in the Egypt, the Cairo Museum, and all of a sudden they came alive. It was kind of weird. Ah, so they have undead as well where you're from. Yes. We just call them unliving because they get uh, offended when we call them undead. Interesting. I got to talk to uh, King... Uh, Tutankhamen or whatever his name is. Tutankhamen. Uh, Tutankhamen. Hmm. King Tut. I do not know who King Tut is. He was a famous uh, king in the Nile Empire. The boy king. The boy king. He died at like the age of 19. Found out he was poisoned. Yeah. Hmm. He was club foot. And he was inbred. Yeah. It was interesting. He's Why did the song have to suddenly be associated with that? <laughs> he was inbred. I know. There you go. As, as and, and, and what's the joke about that song? Alabama. Yeah. I was born in Alabama. Lived there two whole weeks. <laughs> and Glad you awesome. got out. And, and that was that was, and that was all it took. Yeah, my brain was <laughs> yeah. like, he only lived two weeks. I'm like, I'm, I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, he lived <laughs> there for two weeks. Yeah, my brain is just like, just not computing. Just not compute. Does not. This is four oh four four oh four. Everybody be sensitive. This is Fred's coming out of the coffin day. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he makes so many bad uh, mummy jokes. Uh, probably. <laughs> Are you my mummy? No. I've seen that book. Let's see. That's a curse on you, and a curse on you, and a curse on Dishonor you. on you. <laughs> Dishonor on you, cow. I'm sorry. 
So Abigail is talking to Zed. <laughs> the whole cow thing. It's great. What are you, a sheep? <laughs> Mule. Mueller. Mueller. <laughs> anyway. Derail of conversation. Now the train derailed. Might as well. We might as well derail. <laughs> Not again. I can't do it again. <laughs> His belt's still charging up. Uh, that's what you get. My Gotta use double A batteries. No, I'm pretty sure his belt is fully recharged now. It is. It, it took probably about 30 minutes. Okay. There you go. So, is there something you would like, Professor? No, just doing small talk, trying to get to know some of the passengers here. I see. And this wouldn't have something to do with that ugly rumor circulating would it what ugly rumor is that oh you i'm quite sure you know professor he eats a lot yes and he does and he's not very tidy and i point towards the door do i, I am referring to something else do I you know that? perfectly well what? you might legitimate question does i do does i <laughs> hey y'all do i, I a, hear I, that i have a five mind does i hear that <laughs> give me a five this is when he glories uh, yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that's a 15 he is talking to the older people so yeah probably do hear that okay no reaction <laughs> Like, oh, or do you mean the other ugly rumor? I mean the other ugly rumor. Yes, there was a fatality. And you talking to me, would that have anything to do with that? Not really. Unless you have three fingers. <laughs> <laughs> At least. <laughs> She's like, I see. Now you know my secret. I'm a ground slot. No. <laughs> Dude, a ground then, you slot then you don't have anything. Then you don't have anything to cool. worry about. Very well. So what do you do for a living? I am a seamstress. Cool. Where do you work at? Well, my last job closed, and I was able to find work further afield. And that, that is where I am heading right now. Cool. I need to get some more clothes, so let me know. Because <laughs> I do still have... <laughs> yeah, you're just, he's you still, still covered in blood. blood on you. He's I still, still ha- covered in blood. Yeah, I, I don't have any other clothes. Actually, yeah, a little bit of blood. I mean, I hopefully not cover, totally covered in blood. No, probably not covered, but mm-hmm. it's visible and noticeable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when the train stopped <clears throat> really abruptly, I did not. <laughs> yes, that is unfortunate. I hope you were not too injured. No, Although not. Although you seem to be moving about well. Yes. I have a little belt that helps with that. Hmm. Interesting. But there is a, like a, if you look on the other side of one of the cabins, you'll see an impression of me. <laughs> <laughs> the wall. I do not believe I am going to investigate this. That's okay. I just thought it was funny. Not at the time. But since it's like a couple hours later yeah. and I'm walking and breathing, you got to laugh at small things. I suppose so. Points at Kim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I don't point at Kim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Next. What? 
Nice. Young couple, Abigail Starling. Is that the couple or the other gal? You guys want he was doing a Stella. Oh, are you, oh yeah, you were... <laughs> he, he was talking to a Stella again. Well, I just thought it'd be funny. Do it. Make sure my nemesis. Do it. <clears throat> I don't think she's reality rated. All your clothes from now on dissolve in <clears throat> rain. Oh. <laughs> she cursed your clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kim will go ahead and talk to the young couple. No, no one's gonna talk okay. to her. Talk to them. Ah, uh, hello. Hello, how are you doing? Ah, uh, hello, sir. Uh, no. I'm Martin. This is my wife, Sarah. Hello, my name is Kim. Kim. If you want to pronounce it correctly. Very good, Kim. Ah, yes. How are you doing, Note? Uh, the, the, that, uh... That derailment was pretty, pretty not pleasant. Yes. This this trip seems bound to be unfortunate. Well, I mean, we are where we are. <laughs> Kim was just like, the last was, train I was uh, on also got had an issue too. But I, I think it's just trains. <clears throat> yes. Well, was there another unpleasantness on that one as well? Well. We came across some tracks that were blocked and couldn't fix that one. That one was just frustrating. We had to get a car to go. But, like, well, that wasn't on the train. We got off the train to help someone, and they got eaten by monkeys. It was not happy. It's not pleasant. Wow. By monkeys? You monkeys. Say? Huh. Devilish little things. We've killed so many monkeys. <laughs> I'm throwing a lot of monkeys at you. A kind lot of like a of monkey monkeys. wrench. Mm -hmm. They are the monkey wrench in the works. I'm waiting for the next batch. He's just going to devise a banana. The fact launcher. that I rolled threes for you. The entire fight. Hey, hey, it works. The entire fight. Uh, but yeah, he just <clears throat> said, no, yeah, that's. I think it's just this kind of area, this kind of little gloomy, little unpleasant. Things are just weird and bound to happen. What about yourselves? Have you guys been doing okay? Uh, well, I suppose well enough. Not a lot of not a lot of damage from the derailment. I'm afraid poor Sarah broke her wrist. Did our did our priest friend take a look at it? I, I believe so. That's good. That's good. He's really good at that. Yes. Yes. Uh, they, they had some medical supplies, but there was little Doctor Church could do for us. That's understandable. He can only do so much. But thankfully, we have a priest here, and he can heal you guys. That's that's what's really good. Luckily, we were here. Yes, I. I'm surprised, Father Engelhart did so little. Uh, who's that? Second. Father Engelhart? Yeah, I don't think I've met him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they kind of... They nod towards him more than point. Oh, and like Kim just like, that guy over there? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Love it. Love it. Shade. Kim's got five charisma. He ain't. He ain't. No, he's he ain't on this. <laughs> completely rude. Um, like that's really odd that he wouldn't help. Uh, I mean, he did say prayers for us, but well, it didn't help, did it? Uh, no, it didn't. Well, that guy said prayers, and your wife he, he got healed. He said his miracles are more for punishment of the wicked. Well, that's just wasted potential. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> Glad we're not wicked. Um, Wicked? He certainly hinted at that. Oh, that I'm wicked? Oh. He is less than impressed by you folks. <laughs> Has he been paying attention? I mean, we kind of put the train back on the tracks. 
Something about your heathen gods. Well, I don't worship any gods. Well, that's... He doesn't know me at all. That's just not nice. <laughs> I will go and talk to him. No worries. I'll set him straight. I don't have any heathen gods. <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just imagining King going, I'll set him straight. <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking at his fingernails. Next thing you know, you see his smile. <laughs> <laughs> Wilhelm screams. <laughs> No, just Kim's trying to make sure that they're okay. They, I mean, they seem to be okay. That's good. Okay. And he's like, well, I, I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing, and he'll uh, make his way over to Father uh, Angle Church. <laughs> Angle Heart. I don't know what his name was, dude. <laughs> the, 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 I got real close. The doctor's last name was Church. The doctor okay. is Dr. Church. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no. Father I mean, Englehart. Father Englehart. And he just, uh, hey, you, father, father. broken heart, whatever. Uh, is, <laughs> is, is he turned away from Kim right now? <sighs> no, he is kind of glaring daggers at Kim. Okay, Kim will walk up to him and go, hey, I heard you called me a heathen. I'm are sorry, you? I don't actually worship God. Then you are a heathen. I'm not, that's not how that works. How can I be a heathen if I don't worship God? It's not how that works. I'm only a heathen if I don't worship the right God. I don't know. How do the elves put it? You're conflating pagan and heathen. Oh, it's whatever, the, whatever the elves say. The, those guys have a God for everything. They have a God for the left ear of corn. They have a God for your right shoe. They have some weird gods about like the water. I don't know. Insulting elves everywhere. <laughs> well, our elf viewership is going to go down. <laughs> All two of them. We have two elf viewers? I mean, if we impressed. have two elf viewers, man, we're doing good. Um, I thought they were watching WWE. And, um, <laughs> gosh, dang it, I'm going to lose my own train of thought. Uh, yeah, just like, um, but those people over there, those nice people over there said that you... I'm, I'm going to stop looking up because that hurts my neck. I'm going to look back at you. <laughs> but he's, he's, cause he's, he's not super tall, but not super short. He's like, um... Well, old doctor, or father is sitting, so you don't oh, have to look up Okay, much. You could have said that. i be a stupid idiot looking up at the screen. Um, it's okay. It's my fault, I assume. Uh, and he's like, um... So... I heard that you're a priest, too, but you didn't heal any of these people. That's weird. Our guy heals people. Does that mean your God's not as powerful as his God? I mean, that is what that means. That is legitimate <laughs> what I said, and I just, oh, man. <laughs> it just kind of comes out. <laughs> wow, yeah, that comes out, and he's, like... He's he's not I being can, rude, he's just, like, being straightforward. I can show you the power like, of my God if you wish to see it. Yeah, Wait, sure. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> I load. You're gonna make me. I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna, gonna make you. I'm gonna load my. Because Kim's just like uh, straight innocent. He's like, yeah, sure. Show me the power of your god. So now work. I've seen Click. the power of his god. I haven't seen the power of your god. And I probably will. I will be back in a second, maybe. <laughs> just you, you watch this and like Kim's just like yeah yeah. And you're just like he's gonna cast hellfire. <laughs> um. If you're lucky, it's gonna be the chains of Kasari first to hold you down. I mean, then it's gonna be Hellfire and Brimstone. Okay. Then Castigation. Yeah. In order. <laughs> I think I might like that. Okay. Kim's like, do it twice. <laughs> willpower. What's your willpower? My willpower? Yes. Uh, non-existent. Okay. No, it's a skill. It's a skill. So, yeah, non-existent. I don't have a. So spirit. Straight spirit, spirit is eight. Okay. <laughs> not take any ranks in willpower no oh you're about to be his <laughs> um i'm gonna total defend it's oh active defense should affect my willpower it is if willp yeah because it's a defensive yeah 
Mm-hmm. Like I know how anything works. Really? You do that? Sorry, I kicked you. It's eight still. Okay. So that is a success. And yeah, he just kind of glares down at you and says, the wrath of God comes for you, heathen. And it, it, it's kind of scary. Okay. You are vulnerable. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, he's intimidated. It's a fear. It's a fear spell. Oh, it's a fear spell. Oh. I mean. And my terrible, awful, god-awful, terrible little dice decided, no, we're going to roll shit. Well, so. I mean, it's it's story. It's good. Uh, mm. I know. And this kid was like, okay, I mean, I can see how that would be useful. I mean. No, they should have rolled better. Mm-hmm. They really should have given me better. Because if it gets a outstanding result, that's when it gets a little scary. Oh, okay, that's good. But I'm not going to say, oh, they, got, they did not. They gave me a standard result because they're terrible. <laughs> and so Gim's like, oh, okay, that's 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 nice, I guess. No, I mean, it makes you actually scared. Oh, okay. Well, well that's a... It's a little terrifying. Okay, yeah, I can see how that would work, but I mean, like... Is it useful? When one hunts the creatures of the night, of course it is useful. I mean, I guess. I guess. Do you have anything to speak to me about? No, I was just trying to figure out why you're being a jerk. You don't even know me. We're done. Well, that is fine. I'm just going to talk to the guy that's got that actually does stuff. <laughs> Nemesis card. That's got it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Romance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would work. <laughs> Martyr. <laughs> there you go. That one lines up. No, I, I was definitely looking for... I was tempted to do crucifixion, but I'm like, he wouldn't do that on the train. Yeah. What, what does that do? Fear of God? No, crucifixion. Oh, oh that's the one that it's entails. Tomato. Yeah, it yeah. shoots out chains out of his... <laughs> Pinch you to the nearest mm-hmm. yeah. wooden thing. Is it? But it's, it's against my defenses, yeah? Uh, targets, dodge, or dexterity, yeah. Yeah, good freaking mm-hmm. luck. Yeah, good luck. Is it 16 AP4 or 18 AP4? 16 AP4. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, I'd ignore two of that AP. And within a meter behind the target. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. Hit people. table or mm-hmm. yeah. center post, depending on which cart we're in. Yep. Yeah, but then at that yeah. point, I have 27 toughness. If it's not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, within a meter behind, the spikes impale him to the surface in a manner of crucifixion, and he is restrained. Mm. Then I probably would start shooting. Yeah, that's an act of war. Yeah, that would, like I said, that That's was... when I cast pyrokinesis mm-hmm. on him when he's not looking. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it was very much a, uh, he wouldn't do that. He's demonstrating power, not actively trying to kill someone. And that's very valid. Tim's a little spooked. (laughs) And I just... (laughs) Okay. That's Kim. Yeah. Uh, The other Abigail's left. He wants to talk to her. Yeah. I'm not really interacting because I, I assume... Thousand yard stare and Perry were just kind of like you're grieving through that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you're probably really resting good. from all the. But someone oh, other than Kim yeah. and Zed needs to do something. Yep. So I will approach Miss Starling. Starling. And okay. See how she's doing, making sure that she's still that's... holding up okay. Oh. I'll introduce myself as I approach her. Okay, she seems to. 
she's looking out the window, and until you say something, it startles her for a second, and oh, uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to startle yeah, I... you, just making sure you're doing okay. It's been a little bit of a rough trip so far. Oh, yes, it has <gasps> been a very rough trip so far. So are you traveling for business or pleasure? Business. Yes, my my business takes me all over the country. What kind of business are you in? Oh, well, I'm in the procurement of art assets. Hmm. It's, so are you a local or from this earth or like Victoria? Oh, I'm from Victoria. Ah. As am I. Oh, I was well, very good to meet you. One of the first ones to help lead the charge over the bridge uh, once it hit. Yes. And I found myself helping out some of the lo local earthers here, finding things and tracking things down. I see. And you've had luck with that? Uh, some here and there for the last you, little you while. You seem to travel with a rather eclectic group of friends. As you see the, <laughs> the priest just... Cuss out the dwarf. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They've uh, grouped us in a search group. We were been tracking some individuals lately. Ah, we're hoping I see. to get out of a rocher, though, and <laughs> continue on. Ah. Uh. Well, per uh, the way things have been going with this trip, good luck on that. Yes. These train rides have not been in our best interest of late. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard there was some trouble with the train up north. Yep, we were... Well, not the train specifically, but the tracks. The tracks, yep. Were there destroyed. was derailment. But luckily, none of the trains had hit it. They had caught it in advance. But we were on the one that was going to go next in line and had to wait. Ah. Uh, I see. So, what is your take on the other unpleasantness of this journey? She was actually one of Were our. Were you not one travel? Yes, she was, was one traveling of our traveling with companions. You. Yep. When we went to get her for breakfast in the morning, one of my associates found her. We were trying she to. She didn't look seem into like it. she was actually your friend, though. She was newer to the group. We were still working on creating more of a friendship with her. Some. Had a more better relationship than some of the others. Mm. We had similar goals, but different takes. I would see. I heard it was rather grisly. Yeah, it was. Yes. Mm. Luckily, do you, do you know what happened? We were still looking into it, but. We have a few leads, so we are keeping an eye out for that possibility. Hmm. Was it someone on the train? No, we do not believe it was someone that was here with us. Hmm. Well, then how did they get onto the train if they weren't already here. Well, as you know, growing up in Victoria, there are creatures out there that have special abilities and may have been able to oh. catch up to the train. I see. Hmm. I certainly don't want to find out what it was then. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's best you probably don't know. Very good. But we will be keeping an eye out to make sure that it has left. We haven't seen any other signs of it, so we're hoping that it would sate its curiosity for now. Curiosity or bloodlust? Probably both. I have a question, real quick. Okay. If I would have played the nemesis card on her, would that make that person reality rated? Who? The other Abigail. The other, uh, the other Abigail. Yeah. Thornley? Thornley. No. Because it says you and your foe get three possibilities. That's why I was no. asking. No. Yeah, it doesn't make them reality rated. Just they have possibility energy, no. which means we can drag her across Cosms. Or she can drag you across okay. Cosms. No, I was it just would curious. not be a moment of crisis for you to play that card. <laughs> well, she was talking to me. <laughs> That's her moment. That's not crisis. a moment of crisis, Fred. I think Fred begs, begs the difference. The moment of crisis was the train crash. Hmm. That would have been anyone that was likely to become possibility rated. That probably <clears throat> would have been their moment of crisis. So if they're not possibility rated now... They're not likely to ever be possibility rated. Just thought I'd ask. So mm -hmm. I was kind of looking, so it gives three possibilities. I'm like, does that mm -hmm. make them possibility rated? No. I can make another evil. No, person it does not me all make someone place. possibility rated. If they have reality rating, it works. If it doesn't, the card fails. Mm. It's I just... mean, you still play it, but the card fails. Yeah. So I wouldn't get the three possibilities. You wouldn't get the three possibilities, and the card would be expended. Yeah. I'm just curious. It's just Fred's personal quest for more XY. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, looking for number three. <laughs> Oof. I wouldn't have gone Oof. looking for number two. <laughs> mm. Got me into the army. Mm. <laughs> Terrible idea. Yeah. At the time, it was the safest way. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and so, you, if you do have your own room, I would suggest if you stay there tonight to not open your door for anybody. I think everyone is probably going to remain here yeah. for the night. I would suggest it as well. That's a great idea. We can make. Yeah, as as you see, the servants are already bringing out bedding, and yeah, I, I mm. don't imagine anyone is looking for sleeping alone tonight. Mm. Make it mm. <laughs> Except for Engelhart, <laughs> he can go somewhere else. Oh, Fred, <laughs> no, they're not into voyeurism at all. Sound like some lonely, desperate teenager. Uh, We're all, all stuck all this... together. Someone has to be paired with me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> About the only person in this group that has any chance of that right now is Alan. Mm -hmm. Nope, don't have to romance card. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with you, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that either. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Abigail. I don't care what the card says, Fred. No means no. <laughs> wow. Fred's like, hold on. I have a weird science. I'm an obstacle. <laughs> He's a gadgeteer. <laughs> He's got enough eternity shards. He can create things with those. Come back to the cart with Harry and start. <laughs> you broke Casey. <laughs> That's a short. <laughs> yes, it is. 
that and a couple me, shorts that and, and me screaming <laughs> screaming <laughs> brian's no means no yeah. <laughs> thanks brian why does that have a shoehorn <laughs> Fred plays Nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. 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 Let's try and get through this act. <laughs> Nor scene, I should say. Scene. scene. Let's get through this scene. <laughs> We're almost done. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'll just sit and watch the window as well just kind of watch this scenery as we can pass by through for a little while okay. before all right uh, anyone else yeah i assume that they were already like straightening things up and picking things up but perry and i will help in the process of also getting food because that's how you mm. fill an emotional void with delicious <laughs> yeah. food mm. Uh, I mean, again, they do serve dinner. Tell me again, this. it's very. It, it's not. It's looks like it's a roast. Oh, that's all right. I'm not mad at that. A roast with carrots and potatoes and onions. Well, probably a throw together pot roast because mm-hmm. no one really feels like cooking. No. <clears throat> I ordered that roast. Well, you can order Domino's, but it'll just be Deliver to the train. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be wood Domino's. It'll be tired of something different. Yeah. Your delivery guy looks really weird. <laughs> Underneath the cap, he has a beak what big and wings. wings. you have? All the better to deliver your... It looks like better to deliver your hot, steaming Domino's pizza. Yeah, he looks like the noise with wings. This is an entirely different campaign of Torg... DoorDash edition. <laughs> Someone ordered chicken Alfredo where? We could all just be like <laughs> core earth food delivery people with trademark vehicles. No, you'd be like, uh, like what would be we, uh, Wendy's? The yeah. The person would be Ronald McDonald. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be the king. Burglar. The hamburglar, yeah. Hamburglar. <laughs> Rubble, oh, Rubble. Sweet. Remember that. It's because you're old, Casey. It's because I'm you're old. old. Boy, he's human now. Got updated. You. The mascot's human. Yeah. Grimace is human now. No, not Grimace. Sorry, the hamburger. Oh. The hamburger. No, was... I think I think Grimace was like. Technically, the hamburger yeah, got is... rid of him because he was kind of like borderline something. <laughs> but yeah. Because they don't have I the bird mean, anymore. He was just a big purple dude like, that was happy. I thought he was like a, wasn't he like a sauce or a nugget or something? He was something weird. No, he was purple. Yeah, he I was... know what he was, I was but he, <laughs> he was wasn't like, he wasn't like a chicken nugget or anything no, like that. No, he, he, he was, was more I, pear-shaped. I'm aware, he was, oh, but he was a I'll thing. I'll look it up, we've got Google. Because okay. there was the, the aviator bird, uh-huh. and she's the chicken nuggets. There's uh-huh. the hamburglar, which is the hamburgers. There was... Ronald McDonald Ron, yeah, Well, yeah, but he's the, oh, man, he was terrifying <laughs> when he first came home because he had a... But there was two twin things, and then there was Grimace, and I thought he was like made out of jelly or something. Like, he's weird. I vaguely remember <laughs> back in you know, when I was doing all my surgeries as a child at the Ronald McDonald House in Buffalo, New York. There, there was like a, a lore. Yeah, read it. I, I'm I'm gonna try. Give me a moment. <laughs> According to the internet, he was a taste bud. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think he was based on anything. I, I, well, I mean, either. he was weird, is what I'm saying. Like, oh, he, yeah. wasn't he just, was weird. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't just a purple. Th- no, he was like he was based on a thing, a taste bud in this case. <clears throat> I just remember there was a there was a whole story, a lore of all the of all of what they were, and I remember hearing about them when I was growing up in the Ronald McDonald House because I had like eleven surgeries as a child, and we I would just constantly go up to Buffalo, New York, and we would stay two, three, four, five days. At the Ronald McDonald House, and they had like yeah. comic books and stuff. Yeah, it was weird, it's so weird. Yeah, I just remember them being wonky. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. there were two little twins too, and I think they were like dips. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember the twins. I uh, don't remember him, but he's talking about him. And I'm like, yeah, I think he's right. There's I the Hamburglar, and then there's remember. like the, the the Burger Sheriff. Yeah. Who's yeah. Got, he's got a head. Yep. And, yeah. That was. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that one either. Man. Like he was like a Big Mac. It's a or fever dream. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A Big Mac with a tongue that was a, a pickle. And I remember because they had parks where he was yeah the slide the, the yeah it was like a bars yeah it yeah. was his mouth and then there was two slides you can go down it yeah yeah uh, they were all made out of metal and you would die <laughs> yeah if you played on them but I yeah I remember those growing up I mean I went down plenty of metal slides so I'm oh, yeah. fine mm-hmm. and we're all the better for it <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't had third degree burns on the back of their legs when they were 12 <laughs> exactly <laughs> i learned very early on when it was summer if you wanted summer. to go to the park you yep. wore long pants we're all familiar with that <laughs> i went down a slide as an adult uh but it was a plastic slide and they hadn't like done it right Oof. and every single like inner rivet was sending sparks oh <laughs> and no. it hurt so bad <laughs> Oh, well. Okay. Um, Are you done with... Oh, yes. Yeah, we're, we're done, done talking. talking. It's <clears throat> it's getting You're to be talking? night. <laughs> okay. No, we were done talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Did this anyone have any follow-ups? Yeah, no, no, I'm just keeping an eye on the, the wonderful priest that probably likes us so much. It's okay. He's going to try to murder me in my sleep. It's fine. No. Good luck. We're all in the car together, right? Mm-hmm. All right. And there are windows and stuff uh, outside. Okay. So I'm going to spend the possibility Ooh. to learn to spell glamour. Ooh. Do you want to keep it? No. He does. But I kind of do. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So. I wave my hands around and say, protect us. And what looks like steel shutters cover all the windows. Well, that's cool. Okay. How long does it last? Remind me. Uh, concentration. So basically, when I fall asleep, the illusion okay. will go away. All right. In case something else happens, remember you're concentrating, Brian. <laughs> Another der- derailment. Oh, no. None of that. Thank you very much. None of that. <laughs> well. I th- are we done for the night, or? I think so. Uh, Kim's done for the night. Okay. Xavier sounds like he's done for the night. Uh, Wyatt sounds like he's done for the night. Zed sounds right. like he's on for the night. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not sleeping though. Yeah. You're not sleeping? Jesus. No. Okay. Jesus. I want you to give me a strength check. Sure. In fact, I want several strength checks per two hours. Okay. This is where Alan disappears. <laughs> Alright, so we got ten the first two hours. Okay. And then that plummets to a two after. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, that's where you drop off. Okay. Is there anything else? We're keeping watch. Okay. Fair enough. So who's on watch F well? Did you try and wake someone up? I, I think I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be... Fu- <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so at about 11, Alan Kongs out. Uh, who wanted to take for? Were you letting him take first watch and expecting him to wake someone? Uh, if he explained that he was going to stay up all night, I don't think I would have considered him for the watch. I don't know. The issue is that we've already know what happens. Oh yeah, that's... Uh, Kim was going to be taking watch. <clears throat> okay. But I don't know when. Well, how long? 
Uh, probably a, a three-hour watch. Like, it divided into three hours. Okay. So, yeah, you are probably awake when Alan just conks out. Okay. I tried. And then, uh, <laughs> the shutters just close, I assume. Not that they just kind of disappear. Look at they just them. disappear. Yeah. <laughs> he probably does. He's just like... He's like... Picks him up one hand, places him in the bed, and just like rolls him into a uh, in a, a bank of burrito. burrito. Yeah, <laughs> bank of burrito. Yeah, baby Those burritos. Until you try and move, and then you're miserable. Mm-hmm. And fall out of bed because mm-hmm. you're a blank of burrito. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. After three hours is up, I'll wake Wyatt up. Okay. All right, Wyatt, I'm going to need you to give me two strength tests. All right. You don't want me to make strength tests? Go ahead. Because I'm curious, you could actually mishap. Not on that 20. This is the first two hours. Oh, he just rolled that 20. That's why I was like... That's why I'm saying this is just the first two hours. So that's a 23. Um, That's an 8. But it is three hours, so I'd probably wake him up and then conk out. So the total was eight? Yeah, the total was eight. Oh, actually, no, you conk out. Yeah. Slightly after Alan. You don't quite make the three hours. That's what I'm saying. But it's a... Okay, sorry. When you said it's for every two hours... That's what my brain is saying. So. Yes, and depending, so. and I'm not keeping the challenge rating the same. That's valid for each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So the second two hours, okay, you got an eight. That misses a by a reasonable amount. Okay. So you probably don't get your what your replacement awake by the time you okay. fall asleep. Okay. So you probably see him conk out. And you're like, ah, yeah. So my assumption was he conks out at around the near the three hour mark. No, no, he, that's he, that's my assumption. It's not it's not a. He went out pretty quick after the first two hours. Okay. You probably made about forty five minutes, and then it was more of a. You sat down because you're like, ah. And, and I blinked. And yeah, you blinked. <laughs> I hate that so much. Before <laughs> I got my CPAP, you'd blink for an hour, and you're like. So I will let you give me another strength check. That's my, that's my skulls being ripped off. Uh, I'm spending that. Do you want to keep it? I do not want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 20. Okay, you pop awake. And you're looking around, and you realize you've probably been out for about 40 minutes. Okay. He was like, oh. Your watch is over, but there's 40 minutes that no one was watching. Kim, uh, Kim, Wyatt, uh, up, up. Huh? I fell asleep. I'm going to I'm gonna do a quick round, but you're on watch. Okay. And Kim's going to kind of go around and make sure everything's okay. okay. What are you checking? That people are still alive. The windows are still closed, and nobody's dead. Okay. You don't find anyone dead. Okay. But you ignore the creature in the corner eating the... <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right. Is there only three people missing? So the first one's a nine. Uh, <laughs> everyone, everyone is like, no, you <laughs> failed, Wyatt. Take a card. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I think it's funny that everyone is pretty much like, Wyatt. yeah, Wyatt, you failed. <laughs> Take a card. <laughs> Do you want to keep that? Nah. So that'll put me to a 17. Okay. So the, That's the I first. mean, you kind of 
Well, you have that blink, but when you look back up, it's only been like a minute. You like shock yourself. Yeah, it's like you do feel your head go down. Mm. You touch your chest, and you're in that not mm. quite a sleep dream mm. state. And then you pop back up, and you know, it's been Let's about go. a minute, but. Plus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That puts me right at a 10. I uh, use my hero card. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the explosion. Jesus! 10, 20, uh, 15, that's 16? That was, I don't know if that wins. That was a 13. That was my original one. So let's see. 30, 48. Oh, that's 61. Take your pick. <laughs> I need another card back, though. Yeah. You can have a buddy. I'll take whatever. Okay. Oh, wait. No, you don't. Yeah, I gotta find some sort of coffee perk for All my right. So then, yep, I'll play the glory card. Okay. Nice. So yeah, oh, the yeah. rest of your watch, yeah, you're fine. Actually, one of the servants presents you with a cup of coffee. Asks if you need it, and you're like, yeah, and you're able to nurse it the rest of your... Do you get possibilities? Too? Yeah. You get yeah, one you get one possibility. <laughs> so I realized earlier who's on the Maelstrom pitcher. Uh, yeah, that's a Ravagon. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That's a better picture than what's on the chip. All right, so let's see. That puts what to like six two or three. Let's see. Well, put you to six two plus sixteen. Or two two a.m. Two a.m. Yeah. Let's see. But yeah. Yeah, your <coughs> you rest of your watch goes uneventful. Yeah. You figure. And I'll wake up Zed. <clears throat> Your turn. Okay. He goes right back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mishaps. <coughs> Maybe. Strength checks? Strength check. Can I do a willpower instead? I'll allow it. Okay. Sixteen willpower. Okay, you're fine. Uh, I'm going to make it a little harder for willpower. That's fine. Our willpower is higher than strength. I understand. Ooh. Thirty-three. That's plus ten right there. Mm -hmm. So that would be twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're you just force yourself to stay awake. Not like I've never done that in the army. <laughs> yes, we have done that in the army. I'm just imagining if Fred got another glory. We're like, yeah, we're really good at staying awake. Glory! <laughs> I would have laughed a lot. <laughs> that would have been funny. I'm like, when I saw you roll that second day, I'm like, oh. This could be good. Who needs to sleep? We have glory. <laughs> I stay up for the rest of the time. All right, and so I that's I, about five. Five, and then I wake. The only person who hasn't been up is Alex. Xavier. Xavier. Oh, Xavier. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wake Xavier up. We can benefit if me and Perry can do it together, but I'll, do, I'll let her sleep. Uh, can I also do willpower? I'll allow it. I, I mean, it's consumed. go ahead and tell me what you're doing on your watch. 
Is there anything specific? I was just walking around and just to make people make sure everybody's. Yeah. yeah. Did we? Did we agree to? I know we barricaded like the the not barricaded, but like we boarded up the windows and stuff. Although we, I don't think we did much of that. Um, but I know that we barricaded one of the trains when it first crashed. Were we localized, and then were we then barricading the doorways, I or were we just localized else. in general? I, that was my. Stay awake. Mike gloried. Oh, nice. Um, oh, you got me a card. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, so I... I yeah, I'm walking, basically doing the same thing. Just keep my eye um, on any unusual activity. Uh, looking out the windows, looking for anything winged that might fly by. Like, just things that we'd okay. already suspect. Okay. So. I'm going to try to keep it. Oh. Okay. okay. So, corruption so check. It is a corruption, which is willpower. So, go ahead and, and finish your roll and then. Yeah, finish oh, your roll. That, okay, okay. Yeah. So, nine or six plus. 14, so That's good. 20. 20, so 7, <clears throat> 21 total. Okay. Now do your All right. corruption test. 14 is 1, so that's a 15 total. Okay, you keep it. All right. So first two hours go by, uneventful. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that was, for sure. That's from Demolition Man. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. Oh, Jesus. Really yeah, I know. I know. Casey makes a comment earlier. We know way too much about movies. And you're like, I haven't seen one of the most quintessential movies of all time with Sylvester Stallone. It came out in the 90s, guys. Wesley Snipes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch any films from the 90s. I was dirt what? poor, didn't watch anything. Yeah, but you're an adult oh. now with adult money. Yes. <laughs> watch it now. And, and adult responsibilities. Where is it streaming? <laughs> Show me and I will watch it. Amazon, Netflix, I don't know. I'll send you links. Okay, send me links. I watch it. I'm okay. not kidding. I'll send, send it. I'll watch it. It's on my list. It's just it, it is definitely worth watching. I'll actually spend it. This uh, time. I would also recommend Soldier if you get a chance. That's Soldier. one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that movie. You just have to set it. Kurt movie. Russell Kurt, yeah. plays a, so, a literal soldier. It's got Michael Chiklis in it. It's like plus one of his five. first movies. What? Your total is plus five. It's an eighteen. Yes. So nineteen total. I mean, you're you would be fine at this point because you pretty much had a full night's sleep. People are already waking up anyway. That's right. I'm gonna eat all the bacon. <laughs> well, not all the bacon. Hopefully, that's why Kim didn't eat a lot. Because <laughs> all the bacon. We're a little. I said what I said, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little behind schedule. <laughs> Probably wasn't that much bacon left. I'm, I'm rolling little bacon roses for Perry. Wow. <laughs> those are actually super fun. I to know make. that's. I made those. Valentine's Day was ago. like three days ago. Well, I, I made I made them a couple years ago. I didn't make them this last year because bacon is like three times as much. Do I have to wake anybody up, or is that all? I think night? that's it. I think that's the, the door way. slams open. One of the conductors bursts into the room. The engineers are gone. <laughs> thanks for joining us tonight i hope you've enjoyed our stream we'll talk to you next week sucks to be them